I have to start it. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome to the Create and Cobalt, a fifth edition D and D podcast presented in glorious Technicolor. Our players are Bloody Teddy, Kian, Quinn, and Vopera. No, I'm Bloody Teddy. I play the best, the human paladin. Yeah, uh, Kian. If you don't know me by now, just give up. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair enough. I am. I am Quinn, and I am playing the indomitable elderly halfling bard, uh, Bree Hartley. I am Rough, and I'm playing Aradar, the Dragonborn Fighter. Cool. I'm going so... to try and come up with a new in something word. <laughs> I've used irascible <laughs> right. and indomitable. I want to come up with a new one every time. <laughs> Inconsolable. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you can't have Inglorious Technicolor now, because I've used it. Inglorious. <laughs> okay, so we picked up where we left off, and I'm going to move you back into the Undercity. Spooky. Mm. Oh, you know what? I should probably open Roll20. Yeah. That <laughs> wouldn't yeah. hurt. <laughs> And we'll just wait for some people to get ready. Sorry! Hugging fingers and so forth. Terrible. And I am... in. No, you're not. Are you? Yes, I am. Oh, no! Yeah, I, I saw sort of, um... him. Oh, there we go. There we are. Cool. Hey. The gang's all here. We can't see anything. I can't see anything. What? I can. I can. Uh... I'm gonna make a mental note to uh to do. Th I can't see anything either. Did, did you like? Did you like scroll down? Because we're. Yeah. Oh, we're there we go. The now bottom. I can. Hey, there it is. Wow. Oh, cool. Oh. Okay. That was the last time. There was the, re thing, there was the thing in the room. Yes. I, I realized last time I sort of didn't even mention Cersei, so I just put her in. Um, My god, she's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh... Well, she is. She is. Um, what's it? Tiefling. Tiefling. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Yugbeth like seven foot, though? Happy now. <laughs> Yes, but she's also not one pixel thick. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. These things may not necessarily be to scale. <laughs> yeah, um, but they're seven foot tall, but like you have to put the, uh, you yeah. have to put the exam thing diagram is not to scale on <laughs> every scene. Yes, um, Teddy, you can get on that. <laughs> this map. Business. This map has been intentionally left blank. <laughs> Here be dragons and coincidentally dungeons. <laughs> so, um, we pick up where we left, um, following what appear to be drag marks through the crumbling remains of a once great civilization. Along with you is the tiefling woman, Cersei Fames. Uh, though she's not an experienced adventurer, she is braving the perils with you and has promised to follow any directions that you give her. Does she um, not have, so she doesn't have like a class? She she has no she has just no class but she does have a few abilities of her own. Um, you now face the remains of a doorway, uh, through which you had heard voices and saw movement and a faint light. Uh, boldly striding forth with an outstretched hand in friendly <sighs> greeting, Jamie has alerted the goblins inside to your presence. Um, face I'm 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 face palming at the moment. <laughs> Yes. This, oh, where he is. So the goblin that you see through the door uh, sees him approach and although slightly taken aback for a moment hurls a spear directly at him. <laughs> roll for initiative. Yes, so what? Don't roll for initiative. Oh. <laughs> because this is a surprise round. 
and you can't do nothing. What do you mean? So we know they're there. We saw them before they That's saw us. That's true, but it's only it only really um, <laughs> it only affects Jamie. Oh, okay. So um, that is a eighteen versus your armor class. Because oh, yeah, Jamie was so, uh... Jamie was expecting them to be. Oh, um, hello! I'm sorry, we didn't see you there. But exactly. instead, they're like, "Oh, everyone we else didn't is see ready you. for Have battle. a spear." <laughs> um, that is a uh, six damage. Okay. And Cersei says, "Did he just try to in introduce himself yes. to a goblin?" Yes, he did. He <sighs> does that. He'll get used to it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Okay, so now you can roll initiative. Can I shout, identify yourselves? <laughs> um, do you speak goblin? No. <laughs> well, you can certainly shout, identify yourselves. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> All you hear from them is the chittering the, sounds. The goblin and... replies that it. <laughs> the goblin replies that it uses it uses uh, the singular they pronoun. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, so as he as he throws the spear, he also backs away out of view. <clears throat> and let's see, where's the turn counter? Oh yeah, you have plus one on initiative. What the, what does it mean if you critical on initiative? Oh wait, now I have... is, uh... Sorry, I don't have five, I have eight. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm now I am now the flash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, yes. Okay. It Ooh. Oh, dice rolls. <laughs> Real so... dice. Like mother used to make. <laughs> so Breeze going first. The crit. Yeah. yeah. Then um, Eridar, I suppose. And I like Goblin got 18. Okay. Everyone did pretty good except me. So. Uh, okay. so... You think I? You think I'd be pretty, you know, initiated with a spear in me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me <laughs> to penalize you further. <laughs> okay, so action begins with Bree. She's up. Okay, so my first move is I'm going to move this. Yep. There. The spirits fly through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay. I might also, I might also take this opportunity to split it into four small ones. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. That actually, I sh no, that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so, do, do they get less, um, less bright? They don't get less there? bright. They still each give off ten feet of light. Okay. Cool. Uh, but the actual, like, they turn into small orbs instead of a big human shape thing. What? Uh, hold on a second. Right. I have a friend of like I just throw a spear. Jeez. Did you just throw like a 40 foot spear? Well, throw a spear 40 feet. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Now you have your four lights. <laughs> All right. And I'm starting to think for Star Trek for some reason. No, no. Four <laughs> lights. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, I always right. need help with my references. Okay. Uh, I myself yes. can't go very far. So I think I will... Bree bravely waddles into battle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to move. Uh, I'm just checking. Yeah. You would be able to see. 
Uh, I'm going to move here, stop very slightly to slap Jami. <laughs> <laughs> That's a free and encouraged action. <laughs> and then move here. Day uh, one inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, that's the new rules, and I believe it's going to be a rata for the next edition. Um, every, time, next every time you behave in a physically aggressive manner towards Jami, you gain inspiration. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're running out of battle. Guys, slap me! <laughs> Guys, slap me. Okay. Um... So, what you going to do? What I'm going to do is... I'm not sure whether I want to... <clears throat> I definitely want to try a spell, because okay. I'm not going to... Uh... Well, spells are fun. Spells are fun. Are <laughs> I'd say fun. heal me, but you know. How much damage did you take? Six. Yep. Uh, you should be able to... Um, Quite a lot. Oh, hold on a second. Really. <coughs> how how right, much how health much... do you have? 22. Oh, okay. Two. That's... Oh, you're fine. Walk it off. Yeah, I'm fine. Um... <laughs> I have 7 health. Um... I'm not going to cast sleep yet, because we don't know if it would be overkill. Uh, I think all of this might be overkill. So I think I'm just going to go with the cantrip. Okay. And cast... Vicious Mockery. Mockery. Okay. Is that... Is that any way to greet a new acquaintance? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you shout into the void, viciously. I can't okay. see... I so mock I... in I mock into the void viciously. So I have to beat um with uh, DC thirteen wisdom, correct? Yep. Yeah. Or take um, one damage. Oh I roll a thirteen, but he has a minus one to his oh. wisdom. <laughs> so that hits him. Um so he takes a damage and he gets a disadvantage on his next turn. Should I be able to see him? Um You are not able to see him. Yeah. Okay. No. Not from that angle, um, but you know, you can see because of those uh, uh, lights that he has. Okay, so it is now. I can't. Wait. Hmm? I can't though. You can't see. No. You can't. You couldn't shoot him from there. Okay. But um, yeah. Uh, are we okay. saying that Jammy can't? Because I like can't in roll twenty see him. I can't see Breeze you. Oh, right, okay. Um, oh, yeah, I can see. just double here. check. I um, think those lights that she's got, you can't see, is that is that right? Yeah. yeah you can't see. Hmm. I can only see my vision. Yeah. Oh, it might be. Hang on. Like, it's not how it should be, though. Like. I can see yeah. somebody. I don't know, it vision. might be. No. Jami I... should be able to see two of my. Well, like oh, four of them. Mm -hmm. oh, you can see all four lights? Yeah, I just can't see the light that they're giving off. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird. I, I, think... Like how it be, I think so. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever. I won't worry about too much about now. Um, yeah, it's fine. Stuff to do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Goblin 2. <clears throat> Going to sneak out here. Throw another javelin uh, at Jammy, and that is not great. <laughs> so he moves back into cover. Okay, and it's. Let's see. Dudes go. So he can see you. Um. Okay. He is going to move out of the way. And he's not going to do anything. Uh, I'm just going to put a wee effect on him, actually a wee token on him, just to say that he's been uh, 
<laughs> he's been mocked. He's, he's got <laughs> mocked. A bit dunce cap on him. Yes. Okay. Um. So, Eridar, it is you. Okay. Oh, okay. Moving forward. I mean, I can't really see anything. I'm not going to hide here. I have to decide to run out to the door. I'm ready to stab them. That's <laughs> what I'm going to do. Yep. That's, that's it, I think. Can't really do anything else. Okay, so you're, if they move out, you're going to be... Yeah. You're, you're essentially readying an action. Yep. Okay. Cool. Katanas aren't stabbing me. Yigbeth. I think I'll stab them with my katana. I do not care for for the rules. Oh, I should have said also, um, that first goblin who went, he let a loud <clears> smoke <throat> on his go. Um, and essentially you can all hear answering calls from behind you. Mm -hmm. um, if any of you knew Goblin, or even if you don't know Goblin, it's pretty obvious that it was some sort of uh, he was saying intruders or something like that. He was saying something not very nice. No. Uh, okay. This dude. Okay, you're going for Goblin too. Uh... Morning star. Chunk. Right to the face. Uh, teen versus armor class is certainly going to hit. And 11 piercing damage, is that correct? Uh, yeah, because I have plus 2 from holding one, one weapon. One ah, cool. <coughs> nice. Well, the good news is that stoves his head right in. And he dies badly. <laughs> Just dies. Wow. Yep. Cannon fodder. Not the healthiest of dudes. Um, is there anything else you can do on your turn, or? Um, no. No. Okay. I could cast something. Go. But... Yeah. Um, Goblin one. He is from over here. You see. Um. Well, you don't see, but a arrow comes flying out at you. And that is a 19 versus your armor class. And it is 6 damage. To me? To you. Okay, and, well, I take it 19 hit you. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> How much damage? Uh, 6. Okay. Another 6. Oh, this Jummy have more health than me. Oh, he must have rolled well in his level up. Uh, yep. Brick, you're up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Just a couple real quick there, that I can see. Spread out. Let's split okay. up. Never split the light party. Uh... Ain't no party like a split light party. <laughs> you know it. I'm wondering if I want to actually go into the room because I'm not particularly durable. Right. Um, yeah, I might as well. How many hit points do you have in total? 16? I think so, yeah. And 17 for Eridar. Is that all correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Okay. And... Um, oh, that's weird. So... I've got a very weird... Um, view. I can't see what Jami... I can't see what Jami sees. And there's a really, really weird um... like shadow pattern here. Right. Looks relatively normal for me, but uh... Hmm. Yeah. Can you see what you're supposed to see? I th think so, yeah. Right. 
Um, just have to run with it for now on. Or, okay. or for now, I should say. Uh, um. The one to my left, right on the map, uh, this one. We're saying for some reason. Jad, did you roll initiative? Yeah. I got eight. Yeah, but I didn't do it by the character sheet because he's right. I don't like know that. why that didn't put you on. Uh, the one I'm on kidding. yeah, the one the manually. ten feet to the right of me has mm -hmm. disadvantage. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I might try and throw my dagger at him. Okay. I should say, by the way, Jack, you lost a turn for no reason other than didn't appear in the turn order. But I'm taking that as canon. <laughs> now we can do that because he didn't. You're so you're so taken aback. Yeah. You're so taken aback at the uh, the <laughs> horrible greeting you were given by the yeah. by the goblin. Yeah. You can't it was react. just rude. There's no other word for it. Just, just oh, so rude. Um, so I'm gonna throw my. There I go. Twelve versus AC. Uh, twelve does not hit him. He dodges oh, out of the way nimbly. Okay, is there anything else you want can do in your turn? Uh, no. No. Okay. It's goblin. Three's turn. Okay, so he sees that things are getting pretty nasty. He is going to run for it. Um, and he's going to dodge out the door because he's quite small. He can he can sort of maneuver very easily. Now, he would if he goes this way, which he intends to do. He would normally take two attacks of opportunity from Bree um, as he moves through your squares. But yeah. Um. At least I think this is the case. Uh, but he's got a, a feature called Nimble Escape, which he gets a free disengage, essentially, from combat. So he's so... only going to take one from you, but he is going to get hit by Eridar. Yay. Well. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to use my mace, ladle, okay. ladle mace, <laughs> uh, to do my attack. You can see that basically he's running. He's trying to mm -hmm. reach something else. Uh, little miss. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> well. Okay, so he takes a smack on the head from the ladle. Uh, he, like, stumbles which, into me. Yeah, he stumbles into, into Ar Eridar, who just takes like, the head. Like, shot his head off, yeah, as it, like, coming through. Um, Cersei is standing back a bit. And the head, like, rolls to the, the head feet. rolls it's over like to her feet, and she kicks it away. Yeah. He is a deader. Okay. So there's one more behind that pillar who I can see. Yeah, Eridar, it's your go. Okay, well, I'll move into the room. Okay, there's one there. I don't know how far is that. Yeah, that's enough. Right, I'll go and punch him. I'll hit him with my sword, rather. <laughs> right, there, um... and then. So you Let me say is that did that roll two attacks? Or am I reading that wrong? No, that first one is your sorry, yeah, and that last one is thirteen versus armor class. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that misses. He ducks out of the way. Hang on, I have my action third. Oh, okay. Which means I can take another action. Cool. Yeah. Hit him again. Nice. Oh, uh, well. Ah, uh, no. Whatever. He right. manages to get away. Yeah. Yigvith, it's all uh, about you. I'm over here. Okay. You're now, f I'd say you're now flanking, so you get an advantage on your attack. Oh, I can attack him from here? Yeah, I think so. Um, as long as you're on, sort of, close enough, you're dead on. Kill him then. K 
kill his face. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> that, um... Like just what are you hitting them with? The Morning Star? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's another disappeared skull. It'll be found in the region of his pelvis, no doubt. Why do I have <laughs> so much bonus on my plus six bonus on attack? Really? Hmm. Uh, um, that's you're rolling your strength modifier. Yeah, but that's plus four. Hmm. Can you check that in your character sheet? Can you upgrade your thing? Uh, um, my mace, no. My money, not mine. Uh, just want to check that in your character sheet. What do I for now? It? Um, if you go into your character sheet, yeah, should be able to. But in the meantime, um, goblins have all fallen, and you're free to proceed. Mm. I um, check if they had anything valuable on them. Yes, you can. By the way, you get 50 XP for that fight. I'm just mm. going to double it out on a fight by fight basis. Okay, 50 XP. That's 640. 640. Right. Okay, and, um. Yes. So, um. <laughs> Who is going to do the searching? I'll do it, I guess. Okay. I want you to roll a d100. 100, yeah. Okay. And okay. this is going into a sort of random loot table thing. Yay! Rod of immobility or whatever. Okay, oh, wow. 61. You get... Um, let's see. Okay. You get 2d6 worth of uh, 10 gold piece gems. So that is, you roll wow. two, two d6, and that's how many gems you get. Okay, cool. So four. 40, four, 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 four uh, gems. Four gems, yeah. And I'm, I, I was the gem keeper, wasn't I? <laughs> sure. <No. laughs> Everyone's okay with that? Being, um, being the jeweler. Yeah. And, 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 you are going to get a, another roll for some items that you find. Uh, uh, roll a d4. Uh, four. Four. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get? Two? Okay. Yeah. So, roll another d100 twice. <laughs> uh, two separate rolls. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's so, but yeah. Uh, 78 and 29. Okay. You get a potion of resistance. Mm. And C78, wasn't it? Um, dust of sneezing and choking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, what does the resistance potion do? Okay. Let's see if I can find it here. Potion of resistance. When you drink this potion, you gain resistance to one type of damage for an hour. Um, I'll, I'll hold on to that for myself. Is it randomized type of damage? Or do you choose yes, it? I'm going to tell you what the damage is, or the, what the thing is that you get resistance against now. It's, you get... Uh, it gives you resistance against fire damage for an hour. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Okay, what was I... the other one? Dust of sneezing. Dust of... And the. Yeah, that sounds like a jammy item. <laughs> Dust of sneezing and choking. Found in a small container, this powder resembles very fine sand. Uh, let's see. When you use an action to throw a handful of the dust into the air, each creature, uh, you and each creature that needs to breathe within 30 feet of it, must succeed on a DC 15 constitution saving throw or become unable to breathe while sneezing <laughs> uncontrollably. Yeah, I'll hold on to that, I'll hold on to that as well, because I'm not trusting Yami with that. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't, can't think why. Um, Whatever. Knowing, knowing Jami, he'd probably... 
Or we go into like the pub or something. I'll throw yeah. it in there and see what happens. It, it essentially. Um... He pro no, knowing Jami, he'd probably kill himself by throwing yeah. it up in the air and then being unable to breathe. Self preservation, yeah. guys. I'm just kill myself. You'll probably destroy <laughs> the one of the friendly NPCs. Oh, you wouldn't do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. I do nothing on purpose. You'd throw it into the air. You'd throw it into the air, wanting to choke everyone else, and then you would choke and end up dying. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. My hit points. <laughs> so inside the room um, is what looks like the broken remnants of a cellar, and the light you see uh, is coming from the ceiling. Just uh, some light. Yeah, there is a light. There's a faint light coming from a hole in the ceiling. Um, this place? This place? Yes, that is where it is. The light is coming down from here. Uh, you can see there's a, there's a pile of rubble here as well. Uh, can you search the so rubble? What do you do? Yes. Um, Looking at the rubble, you see, first of all, that apart from anything else, there's stone and wooden beams here, but there's also what looks like fresh soil and flowers. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a, a, a some sort of investigation rule? Investigation. I will investigate. These flowers. Right. Sersha comes in to see what's going on. Okay, so that is an 18. That is good. Um, inside, um, or sort of strewn within the rubble, is what looks like fresh blood and a ribbon. Fresh blood in a ribbon? Yes. Oh dear. What What have you found? Cersei comes forward and uh, wants to see. I'm, I'm Rubble, gonna... would you believe it? I'm going to say that <laughs> Bree probably has some form, some sort of small wow. form of genre awareness from being genre a genre awareness. <laughs> How is there fresh blood here? I mean, we just killed those three goblins. That's so weird. Yeah. It's not <laughs> goblin blood, though. Um, it's it's goblin blood. is sort of darker, greeny black. This is this is red blood. Can we like dig up the the soil oh, ribbon? Nice. And then uh, I'll pick it up. Sorry, what what do you want to? Is it? What... Is it like, we, can we, we dig should... the, up the soil or something? You don't, the, there's sort of a scattering of soil from uh. whatever this hole is above you. <laughs> How high is the hole? Um, the, if you look up, you see that the, there's sort of a, almost like a chimney effect going up and you can just about make out daylight coming from above. Hmm. Does that look like recent or with the with the dirt on the ground, you could imagine it would be. Uh Cersei asks, Did did you find something? There is blood and soil here. Yes, and, and a ribbon. We found this and I hold the ribbon out to her. She looks at the ribbon and snatches it from your hand. And yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> she she seems stunned to silence for a moment and says then she says this this is hers this is her ribbon I, so she I does had, one d8 I snatching damage <laughs> <laughs> it's manners damage <laughs> I, ha I had an inkling I had an inkling it might be hers she oh. She looks around, you know, she looks around the room and then back to the drag marks on the ground, which terminate here. She says, we've, we've got to follow these marks now. Yes. Okay, let's go I up agree. the chimney. She rushes out of the door 
The That's most... a critical hit against etiquette. <laughs> the most oh, so she, she was. How do we know she wasn't dragged up the chimney? Well, there's. I, I would say that if the, the dirt had fallen after. down, no, she it, came it, down yeah. into the undercity. I'd say that the, the the chances are probably good for um that she's being pulled the other way. So where did um, those tracks start, though? Um. So the drag marks seem to start here, or either start or end here. Um. And you were following them down, but it it would and seem that the... maybe they go up. And if the drag oh, marks end here, then sh if the drag marks end here, then surely sh she would be here. And maybe they dragged her up. What's the uh, pile of like wood over here? Uh, it looks like the remains of a shelf. Oh. Can I like just this? can I just mm -hmm. like quickly look up answer. the thing? Uh -huh. Um, so first of all, Jamie is searching this pile of stuff here. Give me a roll. Oh, for okay. All right. What, what would that be? Uh, investigation. Oh. Three. You don't <laughs> find anything. <laughs> uh, Yigbeth, you look up the chimney or the the hole in the ceiling. Um, you can see what appears to be the remains of a you know of stonework and buildings but it's all sort of collapsed in itself and you can just just about make out uh daylight coming from above it's a fair way up mm. okay. uh sorry just i uh, want to keep everyone in here until you're ready to move off how long will it take to like climb up um, probably only a couple of minutes, really. It would be a tricky enough climb. Um, certainly with all your equipment, it would be hard. Can we compare the map to the direction we came into the thing? How See high? Is. How high up is mm. the thing? Um, it's hard to say, but it looks like it's a you know it's a good long climb. You, you know, if that is daylight out there, you know that you've came down quite a few steps to get to where you are now. Can can we do so, that? Compare the map to uh, a fair um, Which like, map? Like um, our the, maps? The, oh, the city map? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, you would think that uh, from looking at the, the map of the city, um, there was... Uh, I'll probably have to bring you back into the city map. Uh, where is the map? Where's my map? Oh yeah, I rearranged everything, much to my chagrin. Um, okay. So you currently went into this sort of the city magenta area. One. Yeah, the magenta one. Um, so you would imagine that you are still within this sort of this area, but, you know, maybe around here or so. Okay. So, I feel like spending a lot of time climbing up the ceiling isn't the, isn't the play, when so she just, like, ran into the room. Yes, um, so, let's see. If you go back down to the bottom corner, um, yeah, as as you've been looking at the sort of investigating the room, Cersei has realized what the drag marks might mean. Perfect. She has essentially just run right out of the room following the tracks. Um, and as she does so, there's a whistling noise and she is struck in the shoulder by an arrow. Wow. <sighs> okay. She dead. So she's not dead. But she cries out in pain, and she goes down. I um, run out, and I say, see what happens when you just run in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
No doubt she's learned her lesson. <laughs> if I look at where the arrow hit her, can I yeah. semi-blindly uh, fire an arrow and look? You just about make out the retreating form of another goblin. Okay, can I shoot? I should say, these goblins are all sort of very pale and slightly odd looking. Can I shoot goblins. to hit him in the shoulder in the exact same place? <laughs> yeah. I don't see why not. Um, go for it. Wow. Um, am I doing hit dice? Yeah, just yeah. roll your normal attack. Where's the goblin who shot him? The goblin is just up here or so. Um, he's retreating that way. Oh, where? He might have been about okay. uh, here whenever he shot, but is quickly retreating off into the Oh, wait, I, can use the, I can use the character sheet. Oh, whatever. 20. Um, now, since he's in the darkness, you've got disadvantage on this roll, so I'm going to ask you to roll again. Okay. I'll just use the same one again. And you can use the character sheet. Uh huh. Go to that roll again. No. Uh, well, that's... No, so. Looks like a 6, but it's a little 9. Oh, right, I get you. Right. Um, no, that, that whistle's past him. Hey, what a whistle before. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sprint at my speed? My amazing speed. Just That's the, true. The, 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 like, what, what's the spell called that made them oh, yeah. like, super fast? <laughs> give, it, give it to me, Marie! I shout in her face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, you can you can chase after him. Um, Sursa, as much as she's in pain, she keeps limping forward. She says, we've got to find her. Bree, do it. Uh, do what? Does it matter though? Because Sprint. it seems like we're not in combat. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Healing Word on on Sursa because. Oh yeah. Well, jeez. Put, put it like this: this the sort of <laughs> the sort of damage that she's taken is needs sort of medical attention. Not um, healing magic. Okay, so uh, it's not it's not the sort of wounds that you might take during your combats. This is more of a ah, oh, let's medicine her up. She's then. she's properly hurt and needs time to rest. Can I I don't know bandage her bandage her up? I have that ability. You can yes, that's a good idea. Uh, you're doing. Uh, well. you're a really oh, good wow. job of it. Holy crap! Right. <laughs> Mythical man. <laughs> okay, um, so you stop the bleeding. And... She gets advantage on everything. <laughs> she she certainly you replace her arm with her robotic arm. <laughs> she certainly looks surprised at the quality of the assistance you do, you've been able to render, and she um, she thanks you, and, but says we we have to like a critical bedside manner. <laughs> Come on, then. You, I, I think I think you have probably have wor Jami has probably worse bedside manner than House, <laughs> <laughs> which is saying something. Hey, my character sheet says I prefer animals to people, so <laughs> get you some of your horse bandages or whatever. There was a character like that in Terry Pratchett, wasn't there? <laughs> Who was a who was a horse sure. vet? Who was a horse vet? But if you paid him enough money, he could could uh, try and heal people as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do backroom dealings. All your all your patients wonder why you're trying to feed them a carrot. Yep. <laughs> it's a good girl. <laughs> My pet on the nose. Put a <laughs> put a bag over their face. <laughs> It'll keep your coat nice and shiny. <laughs> okay, so you chase on after this. Uh, this uh, do dog. you wanna like take your spirits with you? <laughs> oh, that's right. Do I need to roll to get across the like ledge? Yeah. Um, yes, you all do need to roll to get past that, but it's not a hard thing to do. It's just, just don't. Don't do that. Just badly. don't crit fail. What yeah. are you rolling? Uh, yeah. Just a agility, or sorry, acrobatics. Um... Oh, 
That was close. <laughs> that was close, but did the job. Um, yeah. Okay, you can see that you've caught up with the goblin slightly. Um, suddenly my mouse isn't working. Now it's back. Um, the the goblin is basically herring it across this bridge. Is it just one? Just one. Can I try shoot him again? Sure. Uh, but, but... <coughs> oh wait, that is the thing. I need to remember to use the roll twenty thing now. Yeah, you can see that the bridge is sagging very heavily in the middle, but it's it doesn't seem to be off goblin construction. I feel like we all should not run across the rickety wooden bridge at the same time. I say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was that roll for? To hit him. Oh, it hit him, yes. Uh, 16 for his armor clock. Yes, that hits. Uh, but... Right, but, uh, yeah. Wait, when did he hit, hit dice, then? Hit dice is a measure of your health. Um, you use them whenever you're regaining points on Oh, right, that's it, yeah. Uh, but... Did the uh, what's her face? Can I shoot to uh, like injure? Shoot to slow. Um, pinning shot. Sure. Shoot, shoot to hit him in the shoulder. That was it. Sorry. Right. Uh, so you basically okay. So you pin him in the leg or in the shoulder. Sorry. Okay. He he goes flying and hits this wall and is pinned. Into the Jesus wall. Christ! You God, <laughs> it's not critical. Such far as him. 15 feet forward. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but, you know, this is the sort of tale that uh, the arms might sing. I look I at my hands. Xiaomi uh, uh, and his anti-material longbow. <laughs> now, before you go any further, Erdar, and you... What did I just say? <laughs> nice. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. <laughs> um, maybe there. As you get halfway over the bridge, um, it seems to shift in weight massively. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shoot Aaron out to pin him to the wall. <laughs> that way, the bridge won't collapse. <laughs> okay. And, Could you uh, not just shoot the bridge to pin the bridge to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a ladder. Perfect. No. Um, so so the, the bridge bucks sort of very suddenly. And looking down at the, you know, at the slats, you see um, on each side four what look like big grey fingers, which are hooked onto the bridge, which is make what apparently is making it sag. And... Okay, so there's someone <laughs> hanging off the bottom of the bridge. No, these fi these fingers are very far apart. Um, they're like grey. They don't seem to have any nail or anything on them. You don't really see them for too long, until. Oh dear! Oh, <laughs> oh dear! Oh, that's not a. Person. Those aren't fingers at all. <laughs> it the, what seems to be a giant spider is basically was... clambering up onto the. I was hoping it was going bridge. to be an extremely determined bridge troll, but. <laughs> <laughs> Show totally me, please. <laughs> Get off the bridge Total before spider. it collapses. Now, as the spider hauls itself up, you... Well, <laughs> you notice something strange about it. Now, it's it's bulbous and it's faintly red in colour, and these disgusting fluids run, run down its fangs. But the most alarming thing is that you notice that a, the upper half of a goblin seems to be stitched essentially, onto the top of the spider. It's, it's, a, it's a, a grider? <laughs> Could be. Except the, the, gob, um, the, the top of the goblin part is alive. My god, a sub it, it is. It, it appears it is to be some sort of... It seems to be some sort of undead goblin. 
A spublin. A spublin grider. What is a spublin grider? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking that because there's already a, a already a Dungeons and Dragons monster called Drider, I think it would, should probably be called Grider. A spublin grider. Spublin grider. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> So. I think Spoblin. Spoblin actually sounds better. So the full name. The what full is... Latin name. What is this thing? So it's it's a it's a centaur, but with the top half of a goblin and the bottom half of a spider instead. That's Do you want to make weird. any sort of roll? Yes. Uh, what kind I'd of? Have, I'd like to keep it as a pet, please. Is this on the end? <laughs> roll, roll to domesticate. <laughs> is this a? Uh... Is, can I can I tell is this undead or beast or? Give me a perception check. Uh, does or it matter a, though? A, a because nature, it's like it, check. it's my ability though, to. Um, like it's a favored enemy if it's a beast or an undead. Oh right, okay. So your your favored enemies are spiders. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> is it an undead beast spider? Spoiler. The spider the spider appears to be a completely natural beast and the goblin mm. appears to be undead which means the... that it's both <laughs> <laughs> my god does that mean it counts as a double favored enemy how i get it... double advantage <laughs> how is part of it undead and part of it not uh, there's, there's the, the goblin top half, yeah, the goblin top half of a zombie fighter. goblin is the goblin Stand... like alive and that's supposed to be or natural the, the goblin is thrashing around and swiping at you with a Blade that seems to be in the place of its hand. No, the spider. The spider part of it is natural. Yeah, it's like and a the goblin part goblin of it is undead. To it. Correct. Yeah. Um, if you well. if you want to give me a perception check. So do these things like <laughs> just live in the wild? <laughs> no, it's been stitched. It's so. It's, oh, yes, it's a a Frankenstein's writer. monster. Yes, if you look to where the join is, you see that it's been very sort of brutally stitched and fused together. Rivet gun. Mm -hmm. so, um... so yeah, I'm gonna. I, I I do sort of want to possibly cut cut the goblin off. Um. But I would quite like to domesticate this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a fan of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, who isn't at the end of the day? Um, so you can roll for initiative. Is so the goblin is just pinned. The goblin it has, seems to have been. Uh, Crudely sort of stitched slash. No, the the actual just goblin goblin, not the spoblin. Oh right, sorry, yeah. <laughs> not the spoblin. Um, <laughs> can't believe this is what we're going to call it, but fair enough. Um, spoblin is a perfect name. Oh wow. Um, yes, that oh, goblin is what? sort of weakly thrashing and doesn't appear to be terribly. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Good. I got that roll for initiative. Um, you need to select your character. Oh, okay. Don't you have a bonus? Do I? Yeah, that was. It had the other. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting. Where the frig's my 20 sided gone? <laughs> No! <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay. So. So. This Boblin might have got a surprise round, but it's quite hard for it to get up. <clears throat> is that other Goblin, then? Still pinned to the wall. Yes, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Hanging from the wall. Correct. Um.
comes to the spider and the goblin have different initiative. Like they have the different characters. No. <laughs> Free and not. So what's the last one? That is someone you haven't seen yet, and maybe I shouldn't even put him on the turn order, but <laughs> you're gonna meet him soon. <laughs> <laughs> Practice at this sort of setup. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so we start with him. So Yigvith, then Eridar, then Jami, then Bree. Okay. So you're you're all on the on the clock. Attack this fucking abomination. <laughs> yes. Twenty two versus armor class hits no problem. And ten piercing damage. Okay. Okay, that's ten damage on him. Do you want to do anything else? Um, no. Wait a second. No, that's nothing. Sorry. All right. Um, you know what? I missed out one of the other enemies, and he gets to make his move first. Lordy. But you don't see him. Just okay. Multiple missed... enemies we don't see. Goblin 2. Okay. And the spider. the spoblin. <laughs> it makes a slash at. Who just hit him? Me. Yigbeth, wasn't it? Yes. That's great. Well, revenge is sweet. Um, so it makes a sort of big bite at you and it's uh, that's rubbish that's nine versus your armor class is it still hanging uh, off the edge or should it move sort of, down it's sort of half on half off um and the uh the zombie that's on its back and that's 19 versus your armor class okay and that's five slashing damage. So I'm down to seven. Okay. Who's next? Eridar. Right. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm going to attack it, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hit it with my katana. <clears throat> Armor class. Yep, that is another eight damage. Yeah. Now it recoils in some pain. Okay, who's next? Uh, ja. I shout to everyone to get off the bridge, and then I shoot to separate the goblin from the spider. Okay, that's. That's a mm. very inter like that's a very hard shot. I have advantage though. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. They're both my favorite enemy. You can't have more than one favorite enemy. I start with two, and then I get another one at level three. Well, let's see how you do. <laughs> what? <Fine>. Oh. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> See, I said to myself, I'll allow it if he crits, not thinking that he's going to crit. <laughs> oh. Amazing. <sighs> An arrow pings through the air. And it's antimaterial, you know, <laughs> compound. And it just happens. 
It, it just <laughs> happens to go through all of the stitches on one yeah. side of the goblin. <laughs> the goblin is like whirling around and the spider turns and it recoils in pain. So it's that not... it moves around the arrow. <laughs> it's yeah. every stitch. It's not just stitched, it's like fused as well. So <laughs> as much as that was an impressive shot, you can do your devil damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh So, I'll roll with the thing. Do the thing. Uh, uh, uh. I know you can't you do that for the roll as well. <clears throat> roll yeah, I know. Thing. Yeah, whatever. So, matter. Um, is it what? just double that? Wait, how, how do you... double... Wait, is it double that or double it's my How did you get a higher? How do you get a 24 when you get a 20 plus 3 on the first one? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe he's pro are you proficient with a longbow? And that's not, yeah. and it's not a crit on the on the one year old there. So weird. Um, I got an actual twenty anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But still, starting to not trust this automatic rolling. Yeah, I'm not I super. Don't trust DM, that's what I don't trust. So, yeah. you know. Mine was fine because I'm proficient with a thing, so I get plus two and plus four from my stat. Right. So well, I know six. that the one I have written down is the one I've gone off and I'm just rolling. I know that's 100% right. I don't know if the roll 20 one is right, though. Oh, so, okay. I'll fix it next time. I'll fix it next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. damage from the one. Okay, so the damage, you double it, but you don't double the... Um... Do I double max damage or am I doubling that damage? No, you... You double crit that damage. Crit, crit damage. Crit damage, you... Roll two tw twice as many dice, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's not it's roll, not two times I, one die. It's yeah. two die. Tell you what, roll roll just another d eight, and we'll add that to nine. That should be okay. Cool. So that's that is 12. twelve damage. Yeah. Okay, the spider shrieks in pain, um, and it actually pitches backwards off the rope bridge but as it does fall away um, it its bite snaps the side of the rope <laughs> so okay, okay. <laughs> I can just imagine that is exactly what Jamie said <laughs> as Bree... I look at my hands again <laughs> and I look at the bow and I'm like what? What Bring, am I? Bring Yigbeth and Eridar all pitch forwards towards the chasm. Has anyone seen Princess Mononoke on the guy? <laughs> His arm yes. goes crazy. Can he like jump away? <laughs> yes, that would be a good idea. Um, jumping one can like jump. Yeah. Okay, Yigbeth and Eridar. It's actually quite. It's relatively easy for you to, you know, athletic or acrobatics out of there. Okay, it's think... going to be a bit more challenging. I'm going to start rolling up a new character right now, just yes. in case. Good idea. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, uh, so yes, you both make it. I do like I... a synchronized um... roll. Like, flawless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bree is about to roll. <laughs> Which way are you going? I'm going back. Because I have ranged weapons, I'm going towards Johnny. <laughs> You're not good, like, if the <laughs> if... spider just, spider just zooms off. <laughs> I is, just said. Uh... Is Bree okay? Um, Bree makes it this far. Ah! Um, is now, she manages to tangle herself up in the, uh, in the rope. And is now hanging off the edge. The, the Wait, bridge is, is... It like it's the bridge snapped now. The bridge is still standing, but it's um, uh, but yeah. it's listed over to the side, isn't yeah, it's it? It's way over to one side. Can I, I can still move on my action, can't I? Uh, yes. Can I run over to the ledge, like on the bridge, but not on the bridge? Yeah. Um, Sir, so comes over with you. I think I think all like the daughter packs have rope in them, and then like a lot of them at least. So. Can uh, I do that as well? Can I minor action and like? Um, that sounds a bit too complicated. That's, that's too much. For now, yeah. so that is your go over, and it's pretty good go, guys. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mm. 
So you can hear scuttling from behind and this goblin appears out of the dark with his bow and arrow and he fires at Eridor. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> mm. So he does uh, you rubbish. Thirteen versus your arm class. Mm, doesn't hit. I hate goblins. <laughs> they don't let me kill everyone. Bree, it's your go. Okay. I'm gonna try and get up. Uh-huh. Which would probably be a good idea. Well just just think, just a thought. <laughs> um Rolling acrobatics? Absolutely. That is not acrobatics. (laughs) 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 So, wait a second. Ja, were you helping her? Uh, Could I in that turn? I was trying to. I would say, yeah. Yeah. Um, So that gives you an advantage. So that's your (gasps) second roll. Yes. So you you grab Ja's. Yeah, she got the crit, yeah. Nice. You grab Jazz's hand, and it, there's like a little moment between you. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe you're so not badass. so bad after all. <laughs> Never but, say. Not good. But I'm um, sorry. Just really? before, just before you get up there, oh, okay. and Jazz pulls you back, and you realize there's something on your foot. <laughs> is it the fucking spider? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> there's, Fly, you fools. <laughs> there's web on your foot, <laughs> and it starts. It's to literally the bow rock. It's literally done the. Oh no, I'm falling into an endless chasm. Oh wait, there's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll come back with a wonderful new outfit. I will come back with a wonderful new out. It might actually be worth. It. That that might actually be worth just letting go. <laughs> Wait, no! I can do this! No, no, Jimmy, it's fine, I've seen this movie, we can do it. <laughs> well, I did, I did just say earlier that, that Brie was genre aware, so... <laughs> That's that no, she's not. Wait, she's, she's give not me experience points, aware. let me summon she's, the bear. She's now not that time. genre aware. Um, no, she's going to try and get dimensional genre aware. <laughs> Right. She's going to try and get up. Uh, you can possibly... still have an attack action against the web, maybe? Yeah, I've got a attack dagger. The web. I've got a dagger. I don't think my I don't think my ladle would be particularly useful against, no. against a web. Unless but he's I hanging on to you with soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, Which this soup. particular spider isn't. I like soup. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Um, the The web doesn't cut all the way, but it does significantly tear, and you can hear, you can sort of feel the spider below you lurch, and it, it seems like the web is snapping as you. Oh, good. As you go, but it's going to take something else to, or something more. Maybe uh... just a, a good sort of solid lift <laughs> from someone. What you mean, like the the crit success on acrobatics, or <laughs> yeah? Oh, all right, it snaps. <laughs> God, I'm such a pushover, Gia. <laughs> okay, yeah, you feel it's... your your uh, your leg loose, or the pressure on your leg loosen, and you spring right up onto the bridge again. And don't, off the other don't side. Feel, don't feel too. <laughs> Don't feel no. too bad. Bree does have very high charisma. <laughs> that is true. That's why you're like, oh shit, that's Bree. <laughs> I gotta let her go. Okay. So the spider sort of disappears off into the darkness again. <laughs> sort of falling. Okay, so where were we? Another goblin moves up. And let's see, what is that range? Can't really see there. Um, Okay. So I don't know if you can see the goblin that's off that side, but... Yeah. 
He is just about. Should be able to attack. Yep, just. Yep. Ja, you're getting an arrow, possibly. Okay. And that is a uh, um, eleven versus your armor class. I take that's not going to work. No. Why does it have to be goblins? Okay, Yigbeth. Okay, I'm gonna move to this to to this goblin. I'm gonna sm like try no, to. This this goblin has been essentially disabled. Yeah, but um, I I like when I okay. knock him unconscious. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so like, like, does it matter what damage I do? Technically, um, to be fair, I was taking it that he is pretty much out of it. Like he is on death's door. Okay, so I'll, I'll smack him with my prayer book. <laughs> okay. Wow, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> That's one That's hundred. A... That's a book. <laughs> Have you never it's... seen the Born Supremacy? <laughs> it's like you I get like for the book. I get like plus six from for for damage because of plus four from strength and plus two from holding one-handed weapons. <laughs> so you're like, have you heard the good news? <laughs> <laughs> a literal Bible basher. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Yeah, he's out for the count. Okay, can I use bonus action to take his crossbow? Sure. Okay, and can I move again? You now like... have a fancy crossbow. Uh, well, not a fancy one, but... Can I, like, um... move again? Yeah, since when does anything goblins have... Since when was anything goblins have fancy? True. You can, can move up to you, however much speed you've got left. Okay, so I'm 15, so I'll, like, move up against this wall. Do you need the stats for the, uh, the crossbow? Uh, sure, I'll just add them. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do that in a second, when you go next. But if you want, it's on page 149 of the Player's Handbook. Okay, great. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, I get my goblins mixed up. I certainly hope not. Right. Uh, okay. Goblins Never get your should... goblins mixed up. No, that's a bad idea. Mm. Can Can we just pause for a bit? Like, there seems to be something mm -hmm. wrong with the. Yeah, recording now. Okay, so where were we? Um, you are about to get another goblin in the face. Uh, a goblin flies out of the darkness. Yes. I'm afraid, Yigbeth, you present the most tempting target. And with another arrow, that is a 21 versus your armor class. And that's only three damage. Okay, thank God. I think I'll have to lay on hands myself again. It's a popular In move. Front of all of us, jeez. <laughs> Not very religious. Um. Okay. Eridar. It's a natural yeah. religion. Okay. Um. So do these goblins have ranged weapons? All of them. They all have little crossbows. Okay. They also yeah. have like uh, scimitars as well. Uh, on what page okay. was the crossbow? 149. Okay. There's a table with all the weapons. Mm -hmm. Crossbow light. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just throw a hand axe at them. Okay. Why not at the number four one? Four. You're going to axe them nicely? Yeah, exactly. Um, right, so, I think I've done this right. Hand axe, yep, is <clears throat> damage. 
the Andex flies sweetly into his skull. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes down. Nice. Nice, yeah. Okay. Ja? Hi. Oh, the bridge. Hmm. Yes. Getting across the bridge is going to require a little bit of an acrobatics roll. Um, it's harder than the ledge was, but it's still not. Well, is the bridge, like, gone? No, the bridge is still standing. One side of it is sort of wobbling about, uh, untethered, but it's still... It's still get-acrossable. Uh, if I... If I use jump, can I just, like... Well, I don't know, how hard is this going to be? Hmm. 30 foot jump. I'm sure there's rules for it somewhere. Um... Just going to have to look that up. It would be... It would be harder to jump that distance, essentially, than it would be to get across uh, the the bridge carefully. Doesn't Jami have the jump spell? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If I use that, can oh, I just easily get across it? Oh, yes. Well, in that case, yeah, that would yeah, be... Yeah, I'll just use that. Okay. How did that goblin die over there? Which Number goblin? Four. four. Uh, axe to the face, courtesy of Eridar. You just threw it. Throwing it, yeah. yeah. So I'm hand back seven. Okay. So. Uh, it's breeze go after this. So uh, ba -ba. Uh... jump distance is tripled. Okay. So it becomes pretty trivial to get across there. Well, even roll because it's like, yeah, I always enjoy a good critical feel. Nice. Um, so it's like my strength. Yeah. Oh great! Yes. I'm so... Athletics. I got three though. <laughs> no. It's pretty cool. Six. I got six. It's fine. Right. Um, you hit your head off a stalactite. <laughs> and fall. But fall on the other side of the, the bridge. Uh, uh, uh. And take away one health point. <laughs> oh, no. But he only managed to go six feet. <laughs> that's, that's more than six feet. No, you roll... Isn't it you roll and then that's how many feet you can go? Or is it... No, I think that's more of a Warhammer-y thing. Oh, okay. Uh, how high up is the ceiling? Uh, oh, it's not very high. There are, there are a couple of stalactites going down right there. And like a wash. Course... One hanging in the middle. And then... <laughs> yeah. Just appeared. You didn't notice it before. <laughs> I don't know. Can I, just... I mean, I had this for like a minute. Can I just jump really far? <laughs> It's just... uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but you've That's... made. Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> sixty. No, okay. you're already making them. No, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Okay, Mario. <laughs> um, yeah, breeze go now. Okay, I am going to move exactly five feet. Okay. That away. Enough. Which puts me within sixty feet of this goblin and within his uh, and within line of sight. Okay. Uh, this one, I take it. Which means that I can yell at him. <laughs> they don't like that. They don't like it up, Mr. Mannering. <laughs> uh, so Much this I'm going to use one of my... I am going to... Well, I'm not actually going to yell. I'm going to whisper uh, this. Dissonant whispers. Okay, you're going for the psychic damage. DC 13 wisdom check or 12 psychic damage. Right. 
I like an infant here. And you have to run away. Well. No, I did get a minus one to this. And it, I rolled a one. <laughs> so, what would you like to happen? <laughs> well, his head explodes. <laughs> I'd quite no. I'd quite like him to, instead of running directly away from me, <laughs> yeah. I'd quite like him to run directly towards me, <laughs> off the edge I'm of the cliff. <laughs> and he, he turns around. <laughs> He gets, he gets so he's, scared. He's sort of like, he's sort of like, he's smaller. running around, but he's disoriented. <laughs> so he's sort of running. <laughs> he gets so smaller. scared that he spins around and puts so much force into his step to run away that he, cr <laughs> that he crushes the ground underneath him. And just <laughs> nah, he, he's, off. he's, he's running around like, in in any which way because he's, like, disoriented, and then he just sort of stumbles off the cliff. <laughs> He is a dead, very dead couple. Okay. Uh, that's Bree. Bree is dead. Yggdis, it's all you. So it's just this guy left. Yes. For now. Although I see that I was... Oh, I don't think I've deleted everyone. Have I? No. Ah oh, well, I'll worry about it later. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know if I should risk like walking, trying to attack him and not healing myself. Up to you. Uh, I'll heal myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll heal myself with five. Cool. Um, what is it? Yeah, okay. Lay on hands. Um, is that your go over? Do you want to do anything else with it? Uh, no, I won't do anything else. Actually, hmm. Yeah. I want to check my spells. See if I can do anything as a bonus action. Uh, command is in action. Compel duel is a bonus action. What's that? Uh, you attempt to compel. Uh, okay. So he would have to attacks. attack you, essentially? He gets a disadvantage on attack rules against other creatures. Right. And needs to do a wisdom saving throw every time it attempts to move to a space that is, a space that is more than 30 feet away. Okay. Well, that's, if you want to cast that on him, you can. Uh, I take it to you. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> No? Okay. It doesn't matter if one of them escapes. Fair enough. Okay. So, um, Goblin 2, he is going to take a go at Eridar. Oh, jeez. His crossbow snaps. <laughs> <laughs> and he does a quick 360 and runs. Okay. And we're back with Eridor. Uh, oh, hang on, let's see. Uh... Hmm. I'll, I'll take my hand out out of the guy that has it in his head, and I'll throw <laughs> it at the next guy. Okay. Uh, now, that was a very good throw, so I might ask for a strength roll. Uh, um, <laughs> to dislodge really it from the head. <laughs> yes. I mean, sure. I have another hand axe. So really in there? That instead. But uh, it's more fun to do it this way. Um, Maybe you should throw your axe, your second axe first, and then try to take it out. In case you, like, yeah. fail, critical fail, and then just pop yeah, down or something. Yeah, that's 
that make more sense. He who pulls uh, the hand axe yeah. from the goblin's skull. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my other <laughs> hand axe. <laughs> okay, you have no problem. Oh, right, no, that's an attack roll. Yep. Yeah. Number two. Used to be a goblin. <laughs> no, he's a goblin with a handle. <laughs> Does he really have, like, only eight health? That's pathetic. They have seven health. <laughs> it's not great, but you know, <laughs> they're fun to kill. <laughs> no, um, good target practice. <laughs> uh, Bree, are you staying there? Or are you? Can I help her get across? Yeah, we are certainly. out of combat. Um, you think so? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I can still jump pretty far. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna jump, pick her up, and then jump back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I jump really far. Okay. Now I'm here. What are you? <laughs> Strength to pick up both of them. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I'd say that's enough strength to pick up one of them. <laughs> God. Bree is smaller than you, Cersei is literally the exact same size. <laughs> Pick up Cersei. And there. she's also got she's got a lot of tail and some horns. <laughs> so, you know. I take a running start. Which one are you taking? Cersei. Um, what, what, I'm not allowed to ask what DC it would be. <laughs> would I, would I be able to make it with a take 10? Take ten. Like if if you look at the skills on my character huh. sheet. Yeah. Uh the pass. Uh the the one in blue. Mm-hmm. Uh when I'm not in com if you're not in combat, you're allowed to just automatically get whatever that is. Roll whatever that right. is. Yes. So I could would, automatically a... get a twelve on acrobatics. Yeah, well you know what? You could you could take Cersei across as well, like that. Um yeah. if you wanted. Just oh, no problem. No, it's fine. <laughs> you know what, Jack? You've been so sensible up until this point. <laughs> Go nah. for it. Do you want to take her? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. I I can't move, Sersa. <laughs> no, Sersa is going to go across with you. She does not want to be picked up. Yeah. Yes. Given that you've just rolled rule a five. Well, triple, 15. But... Oh, yeah, 15. Okay. <laughs> You get across, no problem. Nice. No. Um... I want to look for more loot because more loot. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I like. This is Calvin still alive? Yeah. yeah. He is actually. Like, unconscious. He's, he's unconscious, but. Can I try to wake? Body. Can I try to wake him up? <laughs> uh, uh, uh... <laughs> Crawling back up over the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> is one extremely wounded Bobblin Spoblin 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 Well it's just a spider now isn't it? <laughs> no no he's still got goblin bits attached <laughs> uh, It's just it's very precariously attached mm, yes. Like none of us actually see it except Eridor <laughs> well, I can uh, get Guys the legs. Guys the Spoblin is back <laughs> <sighs> Um, he lunges forward oh. towards Eridor, and with a bite. Uh, let's see, plus, oh, jeez, seven. Right, that was rubbish, and the zombie on top of him swings. Ah, a, 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 a 23 versus your armor class. Oh, yeah. So I take it, that hits, and he, oh, jeez, he does a three damage. <laughs> The oh, lowest no. possible. <laughs> nice. There we go. Um, okay. So, um, whose go is it now? Eridar, it's your go. Wow. Oh, well, Why is that my go? I feel like it's been ages. Well, it's like cause you just we were sort of out of combat, jumped? and then he jumped at me, so I thought it makes sense that it might go. Yeah, what go. happened to my turn? I have no idea. When they like, yeah, I feel like ended. I missed a turn. When, when the combat sort of ended, but it didn't really. Yeah. It, and it went into like, sort of again. Boosted. So should we roll initiative 2 again? No, no, no. Okay. 
Uh, wow, well, I'm not I'm attacking. Uh, yes, so let's see what happened there. Ten uh, hits. I want to see what's happened. Ten damage. You can't move there. I just want to see. You can't hear the noises. You can't hear the noises. You can't chop one of its front legs off. Hmm. And it slumps forward, but it's still going. Okay. Ja, it's your go. Finally, I run over here. I Mario jump up <laughs> and onto it, and when I'm above it, I shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Legolas style. Let's see it. Because, because it's cool, I'll let I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, I hit fourteen. You, that is exactly what you needed to hit it. <laughs> nice. And roll your damage. Ah, uh, and it's advantage damage. Yeah. Uh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, is favorite enemy though. Oh, uh. uh, wait a second. Which is your favorite enemy? Beast. Oh, Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, fair enough. Don't you get just only bonus damage for favorite enemy? Is it that or advantage, Hello. I don't know. Surely we need an acrobatic check if we're gonna jump and shoot. That's true, I should ask for that. Nah, that's fine. But we're sort of at the point in the night where it's just anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You don't... you don't want to say something like that around me. <laughs> I will 100% burst into song. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I can't Soothe actually remember the, the spider. Lyrics at the <laughs> What's your singing? Talk amongst yourselves. What are you looking for? Favorite enemy? Yeah, Ranger. No. Okay, no ranger stuff begin, beginning of first level, you have a second level, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, choose a type of favorite enemy. I think it's only one type of favorite enemy. It's not two non-humanoid enemies. That's what it is. Something like that. Ah, where's it gone? I don't know. Uh, we're not going to give you anything at the minute, but it doesn't look like you get any particular advantages against it. Whatever. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Uh... Okay, so your That's damage it. is seven. Okay. The arrow pierces the hide of the spider goblin, or spoblin, and it, it looks incredibly hurt, but it's not quite dead. I balance on top of it. <laughs> I think it, oh, I hold on to the goblin. I choose to ride the spider. Okay, a free is that <laughs> living in for me. Um, okay, who's next? Bree. Okay. Is the goblin dead again? <laughs> like the undead undead goblin, is it properly dead now? No. Um, well, I'll tell you what, yeah, sure. Because <laughs> it is just about dead. Anyway. The so it's just still the going. spider then? Yeah. I, I, okay, so you know how it's like dangling off and not really going very well? Yeah. So I hold on to it, and using the training from riding the dolphin, <laughs> I hold on to it. Is this the final boss fight? <laughs> I use all the. No, the stuff. final, the final boss fight will be will be rodeo dolphin redux. <laughs> yeah. Rodeo two electric boogaloo. <laughs> um, well, if if the uh, if the goblin is dead, um. I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, yeah, okay. Because I'm not going to attack the spider. Right. You're trying to kill us. <laughs> nope, I'm trying to... Well, I am I am refusing to stop it killing you. There's two different... Two <laughs> very different things. Yeah. There's a complex morality going on here. Uh, Yigbeth, it's your go. Okay, so I can easily move there and just fucking hit it. Yes, but... No, be I'm writing it, come on. <laughs> uh, you have advantage over it as well. It's not that you need it. <laughs> you do 12 damage. That essentially you chop its thorax off. Is it the thorax at the back? 
No, that's abdomen. Abdomen? No. Hang on. Perhaps. You hit it. You you choppeth the back bit off. And it dies. Abdomen. Abdomen, okay. Thorax the middle bit? The thorax, I believe, is the middle bit, yes. Okay. <laughs> Technical terms. Hang on. Hmm. No, they would only have... Thorax... Spiders don't seem to have thorax. <clears throat> they only have two parts of the body. Oh, uh, okay. Right. The head and the squidgy bit. Yeah. The head and the abdomen. Squidgy bit is gone. And the spider dies horribly. <laughs> but I hold on while it squeals. <laughs> the front legs <laughs> jump up in the air. It bucks. It bucks. It rolls over onto its back. <laughs> I'm still on. Still on there. <laughs> what, so you are underneath the spider now? I burst through the spider. <laughs> <laughs> What, like a like a um, alien? <laughs> <laughs> Jammy. The everyone son. looks. Everyone looks at Chunk and then <laughs> Jam. <laughs> Jumping out of a cave. And then I and then I jump. I jump with a triple height for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-three feet in the air. You, have, you hit your head. You on hit your head on <laughs> One damage. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, at the end of the fight. Everyone's deep. Can I can I loot this goblin now? You that may loot. Nice. Um, let's see. Everyone. First of all, everyone gets one hundred and fifty XP. Nice. And. What are we on now? Uh, 790. Yes. Whenever I give out loot, I'm assuming you're going to sort of distribute it evenly? Yeah. yeah. Okay. At the end, for fun. Uh, apart, from, apart from gems, um, which when I sell them, if I sell them, or when I've turned them into jewellery and sold them, I will distribute evenly. I'm assuming you're going to sort of fill a bathtub with them and then just <laughs> fill your own. But... <laughs> You know. Well, yeah, but then I'm going to sell it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, okay, so um, we are going to have another treasure randomized. I, I, I just burst out the spider. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check loot from here. <laughs> you find some. You're covered in. You're covered lovely, in ichor. Yeah, some really, really wonderful ichor. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, stay away from the psyker. <laughs> quite, quite possibly, quite possibly, highly, highly toxic. And I can move to the other side of the goblin. They put it away from Yami. Okay. And again. So, give me a D one hundred roll. We're just getting nothing from the spider. Because <laughs> it's a spider. So Why would a spider have? Okay, can I check uh, the goblin on the spider? Uh, okay. So, uh, what was that? Eighty four. You get um, roll two d four. So you get that was a very ethereal noise I just heard in the background. Hmm. There's just this sort of ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Going insane. You get five, um, twenty five gold piece worth art items. So little trinkets and bits and pieces. Okay. Do you just re want them too, or do you only deal with gems? Just gems and jewels, jewels and gems, jewels, jewels, jewels. That's an every pretty shop. <laughs> okay, do well. I? Is, is there nothing? I search the ichor. Okay, give me oh, another D four roll. Three. So, you roll three times on this. You give me three more D100 rules. Three more D100, okay. And each one of these is going to give you a specific item. 129. Uh, okay, eight. You get a superior healing potion. Okay. 
it was in the next room 35. You get a potion of diminution. Okay. And 86. You get a scroll of protection. Oh, protection. Alright, what's the potion of diminution or whatever, do? I shall go to the potion section. I need to. Okay. Uh, when you drink this potion, you gain the reduce effect of the enlarge slash reduce spell for 1d4 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the red in the potion's liquid uh, continuously contracts into a tiny bead, then expands to colour the clear liquid about it. Hmm. So you, became, you become small, I'm assuming. I like think that. so. Wait, what? Yeah. It seems to be you can how, how, small? To... how small. The superior mm. potion of the superior potion of yeah healing mm. shrinks you. No, no, no. no, the, no, no the, this is bad. The, the superior healing potion does uh, eight d four plus eight health regen. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. The potion of diminution. Um has the same effect as the reduce uh, spell. So I have to look up the enlarge slash reduce spell. Okay. So it just it shrinks people. The... Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So if you look in the player's handbook, it's page 237 uh, for the enlarge reduce spell, and that's basically the effect of your reducing potion mm -mm. except you can't enlarge could be interesting uh yeah i'll give that to three yeah I'll give that to three okay wait you're giving you're giving the smallest <laughs> character in the party a thing to get to make her smaller well it's like it's so it's... really small yeah yeah because i don't want to use it you know my dragonborn <laughs> No, this is okay. just become pretty size, and... and they don't trust Yami with anything. So. <laughs> Yami is still searching through the spider for loot. <laughs> Why does it have nothing? It, mm, it doesn't have pockets. Does, it does the goblins have spiders? And what does the scroll of protection do? Uh, scroll, oh yeah, scroll of protection. Um, let's see. Looking up the book. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll protection. Uh, okay. So, I'm just going to roll something here. Okay. Uh, you use an action to read a scroll. It encloses you in an invisible barrier that extends from you to form a five foot radius um, for five minutes this barrier prevents creatures of the specified type from entering or affecting anything within the cylinder okay what and I this i ruled for that one it was undead so that okay. can i sense. have it because it yes uh, we're gonna give it to because it feels like something that paladin would have so yeah, yeah. i think beth can have that okay I'll keep the superior healing potion for myself. Cool. Jimmy gets nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Can I take some spider hide? <laughs> 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 sure. <laughs> Let's say you you carve up some of the parts of the spider. Put nice. that in your inventory. Maybe you can, can I maybe you can sell them. anything about it? Uh, give us a nature roll. I get this that I get plus something plus three on that. Something because that's favorite enemy. That's what it actually does, I think. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're right. Uh, so that's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Well, um, looking over the corpse of the spider, um, it's goblin. Uh, it's, well, <laughs> the, the spider part of it, it looks like a completely natural spider. Um, or, well, a natural giant spider that you in the world of Dungeons and Dragons might find. Um, so, completely things... natural giant spider. Yes. Um, yeah, you see, it's it's certainly big, but it you know that such things exist, and it just looks like someone has stuck two things together. Uh, didn't so, you say um, it was like so basically, what you're saying is this is a. Uh, what you're saying is this is um, Spy Kids two. If I had ever seen it, <laughs> yes. So, if they're like, um, they're not like fused together. Can is that does that also just look like? Well, they, it, are, it they just, are fused together as well. Smashed yeah, them together. They, they look like they've been. There's a couple of different methods that have been used to keep these two bodies. Uh, connected. What could go wrong? Nothing at all. Can I go over and check the the like unconscious guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to interrogate him. Sure. Um. Okay. He is unconscious. Can I try and wake him up? I sure. You want to throw him his up? crossbow away and slap him in the face. Yeah, just... Okay. He starts and looks up at you and it's like gibbers quietly to himself. He's obviously terrified. None of us speak Goblin, what do we wake him up? I still shout at him, who do you work for? <laughs> he looks up and he, he cocks his head slightly and he try. He seems to be trying to speak common and he says, sheep? You work for sheep? <laughs> sheep. Maybe a ship? Um, where are the others? Sheep. Mm. <laughs> well, it's getting really, uh, you know, philosophical. <laughs> are we all sheep? <laughs> Will you commit yourself to God? <laughs> yes, God. He actually says yes, God. He does. Uh... <laughs> you slap him with a book. For bludgeoning damage. He says, God in well. Do accept God. <laughs> he says, God in well. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll just like... Mm, I'm not sure, like, I wanna... I wanna do the same thing with it with the bandit. Just send him to a mon to like... A temple. <laughs> hard to rehabilitate him, maybe. He's a goblin. <laughs> you just killed like four. He is yeah, willing he, to give his life. What are you life. going to do? Go up and introduce him yourself to him? <laughs> you mad? Sheep. God. Sheep. Um, God. <laughs> no, he says, God in well. Um. No. If you want you can sort of uh, look him over some more but yeah let's look him over what's 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 happening with him it, you do see that uh, uh, sort of etched into his armor is a sort of a clockwise spiral symbol <laughs> it's on a fluffy cloud oh, sorry a counterclockwise spiral <laughs> whoa um did we see that anywhere yeah Sounds slightly familiar. No, not really. Hmm. Well, the, the, no, I don't know. What way did the stairs go in the in the in the tower? They yeah. were sort of squared off. They yeah, they uh, didn't really go in it. Can we ask Cersei if she knows what the hell this is? Cersei, since when were you in Game of Thrones? Well, what's her name? <laughs> Cersei. Like whatever. <laughs> um, yes. So she's getting drunk. <laughs> but um, Circe comes over and says, uh, I don't know what that is. 
Religion was never my forte. Even slaughter with the book. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked child! Uh, <laughs> is there anything else on this skeleton? Uh, no. You've looted everything that. Take back my arrow. Take back my arrow. Just kill him with it. Just right. He. He. Once you take back his arrow, he collapses okay. onto the floor and bleeds out. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> oh, whatever. I say well, that arrow did damage. launch him 15 <laughs> feet. Yes. I oh, sorry, I slid him off the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> and you put him in your bag. <laughs> and you say yeah. something with him, like, give him the, the shaft. <laughs> The arrow collapses and bleeds out. Do a, uh, do a bond <laughs> one liner. <laughs> okay. arrow is a spiral in its arrow. So, you can see um, the, the drag marks that you had been following are basically gone here. Um, they've been. The, the sand has just been kicked about so much. There is one on top of Arrow there, which, or Brie, which kind of. Next to this pillar yeah, thing. Yeah, as long as I go down, I think they go down. Yeah. Downward. Down, down. Is there anything with these bones, or these other bones over here, or these piles of bones? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what I think you should ask. Ah. Huh. Well. So. What's going on over here? You go into this area, and you see... <laughs> I didn't see all these pods of bones until I walked over to this one. <laughs> My god. You see piles of skulls. Um, three neat little piles of skulls. And they are arranged in a sort of triangular f format. What about uh, the ones over there? I saw some. Just these ones. Though that's just some random bone debris. And the tracks in the air, can I look up at this pillar thing? Yes, um, it's just a stone pillar. It looks like a, a big slab of fallen rock. Can I like investigate this? Yes. Um, Without walking in the triangle, can I investigate that? <laughs> yes, that looks like a small altar. Um, it actually it looks like it might have been originally a dwarven craftsmanship, but it is not now. Um, somewhat corrupt because it's been covered in this dark jagged counterclockwise <laughs> spiral symbol <sighs> giant clockwise yeah. counter clockwise spiral symbols mm -hmm. uh, don't bode well you okay. also see that the the piles of skulls are actually sitting on a larger uh, symbol that's been painted on the floor can I check that? See what that is? Or does anyone want to do it better? I can than than yeah, zero. If you've got it, well, um, I don't think I think everyone knows better than zero, right? It's perception, isn't it? Well, the symbol. Does now it, you can does... see the symbol. You might know what it means. Uh, you have to roll a certain skill. Is this like religion or arcana or could be? I have proficiency in religion. Do you want to go okay. for it? Okay, on 18, you have no problem realizing that you recognize this symbol as uh, the symbol of uh, Therisden, God of Madness. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, Therisden. That guy, yeah. <laughs> Chami knows more than a little about Therisden, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> sort of God. personally acquainted. Madness. Like, oh, I go, not a like, god that is known for sweetness and light. So what's like, the symbol exactly? Um, the symbol is a sort of jagged counterclockwise spiral. Oh, so it's the same one you've seen. Yeah. Is, are the bones set up in like around that spiral, like a cornice and spiral kind of? No, they don't seem. There seem to be like three small, smaller symbols under each. Uh, Can I pile? toss something into the triangle? <laughs> <laughs> What are you it's gonna like, throw? It's like a stone. I don't know about a cave. Yeah, no, that's no problem. There are, there are bits of stone and debris all over the place. Nothing happens though. Whenever you do, okay. can I go get the goblin? 
Yeah, have we have we got a short rest? I mean, he's no. dead, isn't he? Yeah, I know, but yeah. like, I get the gun. Well, oh, you're gonna try and sacrifice him. I don't know. Just throw him in there. See what happens. Don't walk through walls. <laughs> Sorry. Well, okay. Sorry. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try and. Can I go get the goblin. This sure. is a this is an evil cultist religion, so I just start. Uh, throw him in the middle. I just toss him in. Yeah, throw him in the middle. Suddenly, nothing happens. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna like try and start and disrupt the bones and destroy the symbol on the crown. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, you disrupt all that. You sort of put the or maybe say a quick prayer over them, but. They say a quick prayer and then smash them. <laughs> you take all that stuff apart. Okay, great. And if you really want to make me, I'll remove it all from the map. <laughs> no, I don't think you need to. <laughs> I will sort of have done it now. <laughs> Are you happy? Like, what's over here? What, what's over here? Okay. Cersei is following the hinges. It's like a big, big open this, area. This area is very sort of cavernous and and open. Um, Pray, do you want to summon some, some, some your spirits again? They're still there, aren't they? They're really far away. Yeah, they're just like all the way back over there. Pretty sure they've like disappeared now because we've went 60 feet away from them. Oh, that's a different way. There's a passage over here, I said everyone. Oh, the lights. The lights are gone. Oh, there's a passage? I think so. Yeah, but I want you to go back. Can I just check out here? Yeah, go back to where we were before. Yeah, yeah okay. it's still a ledge. There's something else here, is there? No. It all seems to be very sort of... Again, it's it's all tumbled down buildings and rock formations. So this, Do these look the... like streets, or...? What's this thing? They, they certainly look like they could have been some sort of passageway. Um. But it's hard to say because so much time has passed and there's so much crap on the floor. What's oh, this thing? Over there, so... you know. Wait, guys, Aerodon, <laughs> there's a thing over here. Yeah, there's some. Someone cut up a giant fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Some sort of large rib cage. Oh, there's something over there. There is. Someone did mm -hmm. cut in up fact, a giant fish. <laughs> <laughs> the further down you get, the more bones you find on the ground. Um, oh, this just, doesn't this doesn't they, bode badly at all. They're doesn't pretty much bone. littered everywhere, as long as with small pieces of wood and badly. cloth that have. Uh, uh, what's this? What, what are these rocks? Okay, as you get down there, oh, you I see, see that. something over there. This Guys, is, is a oh, this, point. this rock formation has a a passageway through it. You can see that there's a way. There could be a way down below. And as you come over to this side, you see a huge bone pile. Yeah! Um, nice. Ah, oh, wait for me, guys! Wait for me. It's stacked up against the wall. You can see, at a glance, you can see that there's all sorts of bones in here. There's a lot of goblin bones. There's a lot of what look like human bones. Is there any and loot, though? Even more so, there's animal bones. Um, domesticated animals like horses, sheep, okay. cows. So, it, 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 so I guess thing. this is where all the missing people have been going. Um, I don't say that out loud. I north... do not say that out loud. I am <laughs> not going to put Cersei through that. I heard it. Right. Cersei, no, Cersei's still down by the bone pile. She's taking a wee rest because she's kind of knackered. Um, and this, also this very injured. looks like a old bookshelf, but okay. it's in a room. I don't trust shells, well, guys. Last time there was nothing there. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll investigate the shelves. What is this perception? Oh. Uh, yeah, perception will do. Uh, I never remember. There it is. 14. Uh, no, you don't find anything. You just find uh, little fragments of what might have been pages. Yeah, nothing there. Alright, well, I, I guess we Does you just head leave through these rocks. Then you just leave to that place. Is this the same passage that we were just Yeah, like? this is where we were. 
Okay, so let's go back to the... Yeah, um, my... Cersei is sort of lost in the darkness for a moment, and she sort of realizes it. Says, Guys? <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry! Oh. <clears throat> and as she does so, there's a faint noise coming from the bung pile. Oh, oh dear. Is it a puppy? You're going mm. to have to find out. It's a bone puppy. In the next step, no. <laughs> no, no, we're still in this episode. Um, it's a long session. Can we get a bone dog, please? <laughs> there scabs around our feet. <laughs> a couple of the bones shift, and what appears to be a hand scrapes aside some of the uh, some of the bones in the top layer. I call my katana. Very, very weakly. Pause it there. I grab it, pull it out. Okay. Out of the bone pile comes a human woman. Oh, easy. Gold. In incredibly bad shape, hardly able to speak, uh, and with a badly broken leg. One of the bones is actually sticking out of her shin. Can I medicine her uh, a little bit? Get her stable? Yes, absolutely. And Cersei yeah. I'm gonna... runs over to her, sobbing. Okay. It's no, Sarah, and she... Assist. I'm gonna assist, um... Kian with his medicine. Okay. Roll. Kian, that was a dreadful roll. <laughs> so roll again. Assist. Roll again. Slightly better. Okay. So you're able, with <coughs> some extreme pain <laughs> to pop the bone back into the socket. What? Into, not into the Is socket. Broken? <laughs> That's crazy. Inside the leg. Um, I, use, I use a bone as a splint. Like, just, like many bones. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like she's fading though. Um, I feed her all my good berries. <laughs> <laughs> just shove no, her into her mouth. I'm not writing the <laughs> That's going to that's going to out of context D and D as well. <laughs> um, uh, where is it? She that actually seems to revive her somewhat. Yeah, it's <laughs> like you know, it's, it's like she seems like everything. she's probably not had anything to eat or drink for a long time. So, Ten sorry, HP. I had to, had to uh, leave there for a second. What did you just say? <laughs> Um, she looks slightly improved for having had she that. Gets, she gets 10 for HP having... and enough nourishment to sustain a creature for one day times 10. 10 days. Okay, <laughs> so she doesn't explodes. need to... <laughs> oh no, it's not It's not actually that much. It's, it's magical nourishment. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So she, her eyes sort of open briefly and she just smiles and they close again. And it's hard to know what's going on with her, but she's uh, Cersei's busy as she's holding her hand. Wait, what's going her. on with her butt? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, she's not. She's oh, oh it, it's, she's basically it's hard to know what's going on with her comma butt. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a comma butt. <laughs> so, okay, it's it's hard um, to know what's going on with her butt. But <laughs> it is. Um, she uh, basically uh, starts uh, holding her and uh, crying in relief. She can't believe what's just happened. I snatched the ribbon off so she had this pop in her head. <laughs> what? <there. laughs> it fits. <laughs> <laughs> this is her confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get her out of here. Who wants to pick her up? Uh, Eridor? You're the uh, uh. one who's most probably able to pick up a human. Well, he does have a two-handed weapon, though. Or... Oh, I... Not like I always have to carry my weapon. <laughs> yeah, like... like no, he, but if, he, if, he will if, have if a sheath. Put it away. I don't know what to do with it. He will have a sheath. <laughs> what if we have to run and not go, well, run on sword? Eridar, can you give me a quick perception? Perception. Or... Mm, mm, find it. Okay. 16. <coughs> uh, noises. Voices. Okay. Coming from that passageway you saw earlier. 
Guys, I hear something over from the over. rocks. From the rocks. Uh, yeah, from this direction. Like, I don't know how they have, like stay and like take care of. Uh, Sam no, they're they're quite far away, but um. I hide. Uh, I hide in the bones for sneak attack. I I think I'm moving towards it. Investigate. Um, what there sounds you. like a lot of goblin voices I'm is coming super, from. I'm below. super sneaked. Wow. Yeah, you can definitely hear uh, Kian, you can hear that they're getting closer and um, there are more than a few Okay Well, Listen, I guys, I say I'm... it seems like she had hidden this like pile of bones or was able to hide for like days, right? So I think we should uh, It's really yeah, when but... loads of voices come I'm going to prepare to kill them when they come through the package. Yeah, package. Package. <laughs> when they yeah. come through the package. Yeah. <laughs> My Amazon delivery of goggles fly <laughs> A drone <laughs> flies in. Yeah, a drone. A drone with goblins on it. <laughs> Cersei says, no, we've got to get her out of here now. But, but loot, I say. <laughs> but loot, I say. <laughs> Um, I, I don't care about money, I just want her safe. She's pretty safe with us, I mean... Like, can, can, can we tell like how close they are? Are they like still... They like, are, if, we, if we start running now, will we get away? Or like, well, will they see us? The reason that you can hear them is not because they're close. It's because they're many. Hmm, okay, well... If they're that many, if we can hear that, then like, well... Sure, I'll... I'll get my loot some other time. But they're criminals and religious cultists and bad evil. <laughs> they're not criminals. <laughs> I started jogging What away. do you mean they're not criminals? They kidnapped people and killed them. So, <laughs> you killed people. That. There's no evidence for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's plenty of piles of bones and I, I'm inve I investigated this. That's true. I started power walking away. Sursa is... <laughs> Going to drag uh, Sarah. Can I like try and move a, a rock to block the passage? Oh yeah, push push a boulder. That's a good idea. Actually, give me a strength roll. Yeah, that's a good idea. In the precarious pile of bones. I'll, if you... I'll help. I'll are help they coming from like boulders. a direction behind the bones, or are they, where, yes, there's like a this big pile of boulder is sort of representative. There, there's a path through it. Any sort of medium-sized creature could get through here, no problem. But do we hear the goblins from there or from behind? Yeah, us they're somewhere? coming from from basically down here. Uh, why are we moving boulders? Right. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm I'm helping, so that's the advantage, I guess. Okay. I'm helping with the boulder. Uh, do you want to give me a strength roll? Or athletics? Uh, or to the point? Okay. Uh, the, bo the boulders shift, but they don't move. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should just run for it then. I shoot the boulder. <laughs> okay. Have you seen my like skills? Nice. Two. You miss. You nice. miss the boulder. <laughs> Pick up my arrow. Pick up my arrow and start jogging again. The boulder evades. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't beat its armor class. Uh, yeah. So, Sersa is essentially dragging her along Can I... right towards the bridge. You want to help? Oh, yeah, I'll help. Okay. Yeah. Right, um, and <clears throat> although the noises are getting closer and closer, you do manage to stay ahead of them long enough to get back over here. Um, going to need some sort of plan for getting them across the bridge. We all have like uh, um, that doesn't involve jumping. <laughs> we all have like a bunch of rope, right? Yeah, here. I'm like fifty feet of rope. Can we, can we like build the bridge from all the rope we have? <laughs> <laughs> I I think that would be overkill. But we'll probably, I'm, I'm probably secure the bridge again. Pretty sure I don't yeah. have any rope. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Just fix it up a bit with some rope. Yeah. It's not so precarious. Yeah, can you only slap the one point to come here, like tie that point together again? 
Yeah, possibly. Uh, who's best at such things? What would that be? Dexterity, I guess. Like I'm a side of a hand or something. I don't know. The best at dex. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's like slide of hand, maybe. I don't know. I think. Or, or I don't know. Acrobatics. Bridge building. Uh, it's like acrobatics and slide of hand. We'll do slide of hand. Or maybe same. like. Mm. Same role. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, plus four. Yeah. Right. It's taking so long. So tense. Sorry, um, did, oh, that was, was that your roll? No, I'm trying oh. to roll. There oh, we go. 23. Right. There. Yeah, oh, 23. 23. Excellent. Yeah. Um, you're able to uh, basically repair the bridge in short order. And not a moment too soon because you can hear creatures start starting to coalesce at the boulders behind you. I have a knife ready to, or my rapier or whatever, ready to put the bridge whenever it gets across. Actually, no, can I, I tied it in a knot, but I have a big lead on the knot, so I can just pull it, <laughs> like a big shoelace. Okay. Right, uh, what's everyone else doing? Um, you could persist I'm help to, you could persist to, to stay and fight I'm this. helping, I'm helping with, with, with Tara over the bridge, okay. I think. I tell Bree, get them yeah. over the bridge. Bree, convince you with the team now. Not fight an army of goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you just run? <laughs> Speak to him. Uh, oh, okay. You want me to roll like persuasion or? Hello. Well, no, I mean, it's just him. Just talk to him. <coughs> you don't play. be stupid. Uh, you're gonna have to persuade me. <laughs> <laughs> he rubs his fingers together. Tell me about this not being stupid. <laughs> We know where this is now. We have permission to come down here from the city leaders. Our job was to save this lady. We can come back uh -huh. here and kill the criminals later. They will still be here. Roll of persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. She's <laughs> very <laughs> stubborn. <laughs> No. Mm, okay. Would Let's it, get the would hell it help <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess. <laughs> okay, I guess. Would it help your stubbornness to say that there's a near tidal wave of zombies, or not zombies, <laughs> goblins coming after you? I, I pulled. No the... killing goblins until you've eaten your greens. <laughs> I, I pulled the pulled the thing and the the bridge, and then I cut it a little bit, and the bridge collapses. Do, do, okay. Don't don't we want to get there? Back, get back there, neither. Or build another bridge. <laughs> I'm totally like if it'll only be like as it was before. They like sort of not entirely collapsed, but just sort of broken on one side. Oh no, I I, I destroyed it. It's gone. Right. Okay. Now. So you've destroyed half the bridge, or that well, half. I don't know. Cut the whole bridge. <laughs> Up to you. Oh the yeah, because we totally yeah. won't need to get back across there. <laughs> Whatever. I try to stop Yang from cutting the bridge. What if we not cut the bridge with like a lot of goblins behind us? Yeah, but you know, we want, we want to kill the goblins later. Yeah, we want yeah to... but they can only they yeah, can but... only get across the bridge one at a time. Whatever. More he's like arguing about this. It's more, it's you know. <laughs> right. Well, what's this room? That is We've a the... room with some old boxes in it. Oh, I wander in here. <laughs> this is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a perception check. Uh, but the... I keep forgetting. Roll to percept. How is your perceiving? Oh, I percept that so Excellent. well. Very good. Um, you notice that while this place has been thoroughly looted, um, maybe a hundred times over, there's a single gold piece wedged in the, oh. uh, in the box, when, between the slats of one of the boxes. Can I look and see if it's a trap? I mean, it's yeah. trap. <laughs> you know what? It is definitely a trap. <laughs> All the goblins. Yeah, what I think. I pull um, it and just kind of sprint away. Is can I only see like the gold piece? It's just boring, or isn't it? Yeah, no, it's just regular gold piece. All right, yeah, I take it. And run you're, out. You are rich. Nice. <laughs> I actually have one gold piece now, guys. Um, okay, so you hair up the stairs. I take it. Yeah. And you reach the door. 
Oh, well, what's the password? <laughs> nah, that's fine, I have it somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Suddenly the, the goblins are getting very close. <laughs> and you need this password. <laughs> Jammy is going through his notes. Yep, yellow something, I think, maybe. Yellow beagle. Yellow beagle. Yellow beagle. Uh, yellow beagle. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens just as the goblins start to come up the stairway. <laughs> <laughs> and the guards let you back into the room, shutting the door quickly behind you. Oh, good. I thought they were just going to shut the door. <laughs> no, like, nope. Like, Bye. Just, like, open it, goblins, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you, think a, you think a beach, oak door, whatever, is going to keep those goblins in? <laughs> I'm never going to live down my beach, oak door. <laughs> Nor should I. Okay. You are back in the guard tower. Oh. Guard looks at you. Looks like we're back in in the starting screen. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're back in the start screen. <laughs> well, it looks really um, to put similar to. Uh... <laughs> so, can we get rid of that turret order thing? It's kind of just yeah, yeah. sitting there. Okay. So the guard the guard looks at you and says, "Back so soon, eh?" Oh, and he notices Sarah. <laughs> And he's stunned. What was she? Was she down there? How long is it yes, been? What why, year is it? That's why we went down there. I shout, Mom, Dad. And then, uh, <laughs> the Robin Williams quotes from Jumanji. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So, what do you want to do next? You have a very unwell person in your care. I imagine yeah, a barracks like, like, could take care of a person. Thing, I think. Like, it seems to be something else. Try to find a hospital. Yep. Um, is there a hospital, Mr. Guard? You can use the infirmary here. That's um, what I was thinking. Sersa looks and says, no thanks. In a very <laughs> sort of cold way. She, there, she knows of a place uh, that's in the middles. I told you before, the horse vet is not the place to go. <laughs> Um, as you're dragging her out the door, uh, Cersei says, I don't trust these people. Uh, oh, well. Good thinking, neither do I. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, we never trust anyone. That's true. So, trust me? No, I don't. <laughs> if anything, you're the person in this group that I trust the least. Wow, Bree gets, like, super <laughs> pointed. <laughs> Cersei I mean, you thank you take... for saving my life, Lord. <laughs> you really don't have that good judgment. Um, Cersei asks you to take, um, basically to go to the, the nearby doctors and bring them to the bakery. You're going to, you know, bring Sarah there. Is that a euphemism? No. <laughs> bring me to the bakery. What does she want? What would that... <laughs> what would that imply? I don't know. <laughs> that, that, no, that's... Uh, like... I mean, I know that I... Pretty much anything can be turned into a euphemism if you try hard enough. But I don't think that can be turned into a euphemism. <laughs> that might be the first thing that can't. <laughs> okay. So... Um... <coughs> With that, I think we'll end here, but I will just say that, um, <clears throat> let's see, okay, so you get Sarah back safely to the bakery, the doctor comes, looks her over, makes sure everything's okay, uh, she's malnourished and very hurt, but she is alive. He puts the, uh, the bag on her face, <laughs> that's munching. <laughs> <laughs> Some oats and she'll be fine. <laughs> um, Keep her well rest and warm. Yes. Oats every day. So she she comes she basically comes back to herself and uh Cersei basically doesn't leave her side for a moment. She seems they both seem incredibly relieved. So Makes sense. Uh I take it if you're there, do you want to say anything, ask anything? 
Hi, Sarah. <laughs> What's I, up with I, this? Uh... I take it I have you to thank for. Well, yeah, I put you on phones. It's me. Um, two notes. It's not me, basically. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, me away and ask Sarah what, what, what actually happened. How you have to roll strength for that, I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> um, yes, uh, Vaporoff, you were saying what happened? <laughs> yeah, like how, how did you end up down there? I, I don't remember much, but I'll tell you what I know. Um... I, the night, the night I, well, the night I went down there. Why'd you go down there? I went, I, I was doing my deliveries. Uh, Cersei was sick, so Harper offered help with the deliveries. Um, there was a certain situation I, I understand you know about that he was uh, somewhat enamored of me. Uh, yeah, why? So, so, he obviously wanted to talk to me about that, uh, and so I I just decided, well, it has to be done sooner or later. I have to tell him no. Um, now, before I could do that, to be honest, I was struggling to find words, but we were attacked. And I don't know what it was that attacked us. It was some sort of... It looked like a man, but came from the skies. A flying man. A bird man. For all, for all I know, he could have jumped off a roof, or... I don't know. I, I honestly can't say that. That's all I know. Um, we ran. We got split up. Um, the streets were empty, and there was no one about to help us. Uh, I tried to I tried to find cover in the gardens, hidden a flower bed, and the last thing I remember was the ground giving away underneath me. Where was this? Uh, in the in the gardens near the near the entrance. Remember, I mentioned some gardens that you passed. Yeah. Uh, Under yeah. um, the entrance. Yeah, you know that hole in the roof. Uh, off the Undercity. That's where she fell down. There was some sort of weak, uh, weak ground there. She wasn't actually kidnapped. No. Something. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, don't you feel bad about killing all those goblins? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> they did nothing wrong. They were cultists. <laughs> well, I mean, I uh, one, one at least. I, I woke up with uh, with a broken leg and little hope of survival. I tried to find a way out, but I got lost. And when the goblins came, I had um, preferred to starve rather than what the goblins would have done to me. Do you know where? Uh, Harper yeah, that's is? that's slightly awkward. <laughs> uh, do you? No. Sorry? Know where Harper is? Harper? No. I didn't see him after we got attacked. Alright. Mystery solved, I guess. Uh... Well, half the mystery. We still need to find... We still do need to find... The, uh... Harper... Ah, we weren't asked to do that, captain though. Of the guard. Yeah, we... Yes, we were. We were told that we'd be given... I'm going to find, find him. Yeah, well, want more him. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean um, this. This doesn't sorry. look connected to like the disappearances. It seems not just like a random event it happened, misfortune. So I, I, I think like there's, mm. there's something else going on, not just goblin cultists which are kidna kidnapping people. We're being menaced by Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's weird as well. I think that might be some investigation. Why are we in this city? Uh, Guys, seriously. You, you came we, came up with, we came up with ideas during character creation. You know why you're here. Yes. Guys, we're missing. To er eradicate all criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think, I think we're losing, you know, focus. 
<laughs> Whatever happened to the interdimensional recognizable crate? It might be connected. Whatever to to manner, right? the heroes. <laughs> it might be I connected like to all the Shakespeare heroes. I feel like we should just, you know, worm our way. Worm? I meant uh, charm our way into Caversham Manor. <laughs> we tried that. <laughs> we tried that, it didn't work. No, we tried it yesterday. On the though. other hand, there might. There could possibly be a way into Caversham Manor through perhaps the Undercity, which we now have permission to enter. Yeah, but that's not as fun as dressing up and being butlers or something. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Ow. No, you would be fun. a terrible, terrible butler. <laughs> if you remember. But yeah, but I'd still be a butler. <laughs> I'd still get in. That is true. Um, no, I don't know. But uh, what was I going to say? Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Simon Aimer, who gave you the pass to get into the uh, Undercity. Now, he gave you that on a sort of sealed bit of paper. Essentially, you know that when the seal is broken, it's a one. Yeah, it's a one time. Oh offer. yeah, it's a one time. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I need to go and talk to him again. I guess he did want to hear back from you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We need all the report about the what the goblin. Did we actually find any? Goblin. Did we find any like artifacts? Oh, uh, I got the what? Dude? One other thing I got was like five. But maybe they weren't. Like Those were artifacts. goblin artifacts. Yeah, okay. Interesting and actually valuable, but not um, historically so. Yeah, okay. Goblins are pretty antique, I guess. <laughs> so... Do you want to go back to the tower? Well, I think we should get some rest. Because uh... all this. Killing goblins. Agreed. Yes. Agreed. 105 year old halfling is tired. <laughs> Sorry, um, 105 year old. My. <coughs> Sir says to you. 456 right. year old body, you can. We, no. still, we still have the <laughs> reward from. Sir C. Yeah. Um, let's, let's let her rest and we'll talk more in the kitchen. Um, she closes the door and you can see something pass between them that is. Uh, Obviously, something a little more than just friendship. So. Oh dear. Uh, yes. Uh, aren't, wait, aren't they? I thought they were sisters. One is a. Well, they call each other sisters. Yes, one yeah, is like... a. Tiefling. Mm. One's a human. And they were um, like raised together or something, weren't they? You didn't actually ask the details of how they. Uh, how they came to meet each other. Didn't we? I feel like we did. I just didn't write it down. <laughs> uh, I remember that I I stopped Yugbeth from catching a character by by giving her like pie or something. What? Like, oh, what? like like actual like this isn't this isn't innuendo or anything. This is actual like apple pie or something. I remember. Like <laughs> hey, Paul Sosha. Well, she was she was chasing a she was chasing a criminal. That's how we met. Um, ah yes, All right. Before the game. Fair enough. I okay. pull this shit aside and so, ask about the well, cake that I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she was she with us the entire time. She brings yeah. it down to the kitchens and um, she says, "I think I owe you a bit more than cake." <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I, I I had her. It's not just it. cake. It has Brian ink on it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's got a spear on it. <laughs> yeah. I heard, had heard you mention that you wanted to set up a business of your own. Well, I think we have. Thank you. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, no, we you... can get we can we could convert the bakery into our offices. Why? <laughs> no, we could... I, don't think, I don't think any of us want to stay in the city. We could employ Sersa and Sarah. I want I want to stay in this city. Yeah, and it's loads of crime to eradicate for Yigbeth. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be a long time before we eradicate so, all the crime. There's like a cor the, the guard force is corrupted, like, this is a gold and mine. besides, besides, uh, they have... base of operations. Besides, they have yeah, trams. Okay. FOB. Is an they've FOB. got transportation. Yeah, FOB. <laughs> Don't you want to ride the trams? <laughs> They've got. Yeah, exactly. I really want to ride the trams. No, they've so, got. Yeah. They've got trams, which means they're really good at transportation. Tr transportation. Which means that... <laughs> tram. Transportation. Yeah. Um, 
which means that if there's anything near the city, we can probably find it. Yeah. Get there pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She says, she did. I, I would, uh, if you want to set up here, then by all means, please. Um, I feel like you're offering us again, but you already said before that we'd have it, so... I mean, you're gonna have to go through the whole interview process. We have. This, you're gonna have to go through the rules. Do you have your resume? Um, Can I have, like, make Gummy shut up? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. How many? How many bedrooms? Sorry. Uh, there's only there's only two. That's the problem. Um, but maybe we could convert some of the. Uh, I don't need to sleep though. We have it's like a uh, sleeping bag or something. Then yeah. we can just. We could certainly convert some of the basement area too. To help. I have a blanket. So, certainly <laughs> think about it. I'm not. I'm not forcing you to do anything you, you don't want to do. Um, but you, whatever help I can be in the future, I I owe you ever, you everything. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? Uh, what prior experience in uh, investig uh, you know, investigation, <laughs> investigatory companies do you have? Well, I, I grew up on the streets. <laughs> Would that help? How many uh, I'll, put down, I'll put down fast learner. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many crimes have I seen? <laughs> many more than I can count. Not good with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> At least thirteen. <laughs> no. At she least says, three. Yes. <laughs> no, she says that all all I ever saw when I was young was crime. Inexperienced with thing, things that are crime. So, well, I'm gonna have to talk to my colleagues, but you know, I think, I think you're a good prospect. <laughs> she gives you a withering look and <laughs> nods her head. I give her guys, like an understanding look, like guys, a, what do you think? I know. <laughs> and she smiles and, and heads back upstairs. What do you think, guys? What? Do we take her? What? I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not part of this. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ignore him and like head out the door and start heading for the inn. So shouldn't we just like stay here? We haven't like we we're we gonna prepare the basement, but we haven't done it yet, and we have already paid for the inn, haven't we? So. Well, was it like a night? You paid for a night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. You could just stay here and not pay anything. I mean, yeah. Okay. But if you have any beer, at long your rest. Place, otherwise, I'm going to get a beer somewhere. <laughs> Let's rest oh. here and then go for beer later and get you know prepare the FOB. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. Right. Okay. I think that would be a pretty decent place to leave it. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and you get 150 XP for the second Yay. fight. Where does uh, that leave you? What are we on there? Yeah. 150. I've never already got that. Yeah, we yeah. leveled up. Oh, we leveled yeah. up? Wait, is that another 150 now? Another 150. <gasps> oh, we leveled yeah. up? Nice, leveled up. We are we just 940, okay. I think. Yep. And a 50, just because you actually covered a lot of ground there. And that's 990, it. that's it. Oh. Jammy looks around. That's level 3! <laughs> Soon you appear first through the door. <laughs> Jammy, Jammy walks Prepare out the door. Prepare to bear! Jammy, Jammy walks out the door and looks at the Fane's Bakery sign. The sign falls to the ground and he takes a step back. Emblazoned on the front of the building is Brian Inc. Light bulbs, like, glittering. It's amazing. The legend All of a sudden, begins. it's the dark. A red carpet rolls out on the street and a bear swaggers down. <laughs> what? Nice. Just to be just continued. Comes, does it just come 
from somewhere like in the a pair of swaggers down the road carrying <laughs> supplies for beds and more signs <laughs> carrying four thousand individual designed business cards for each of us <laughs> i'm so tempted to allow that <laughs> but i say hello bear and he says hello <laughs> <laughs> Is it time? <laughs> it's not fair to deny me of the cross-eyed bear that you gave to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, bear. <sighs> this, this has gone completely out of my control. I know. <sighs> so, good I session. have to pray, guys, now that we have... Oh, what was his name? Bear, Mr. Bear, Cubby, 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 Cubby the bear. Yeah, now that we have Cubby, I need to pay a visit to a Roger Greyheart. Perfect. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to ra- level up now. Yeah. Because, yeah, I was going to ask, do you want to level up now or leave it to later? But if you want to level up now, that's cool. Uh, oh, but I need to re-download Adobe Reader. <laughs> how, how do I level up on the character sheet in Roll20? Uh, yeah, just change stuff. Can't edit, can't edit, edit that number. What number? Um, the, the overall level. That number is just at two. No, uh, it's um, it's. Oh uh, no, you can't. You have to. You have to edit the number of actual. Um, yeah, it's in class. Character, of class. Oh, class oh yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. I remember now. Fighter three. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now I have three. Three spell slots. What do I get? Martial archetype. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nice. Have champion battle matter at Eldritch Knight. Um, Master. Okay, let's see what Divine Health does. Uh, by third level, the Divine Magic flowing through you makes you immune to disease. Check out the map screen. Sapling. I don't see anything. Oh, I like it. Is it in the chat? Uh, no, it should just be in the it map screen. It says Brian Inc. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> so I'm assuming. I can't actually see oh, it. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Um, right, so... I get... I'm now immune to disease. Cool. Um, do I like put that in somewhere? Uh, yeah, put it in your features, your class features section. <laughs> or actually, no, don't ask me because I don't look at the sheets, <laughs> so I don't know how to use them. I'm just thinking of the PDF. Ah, oh, nice, I quit on 19 now as well. Cool. Could you... Could you have your familiar just be a... a, a... Wait, are you still recording? Yeah. Teddy. Oh, okay. I'm not going to say that then. <laughs> Wait, <no. laughs> uh, I'm really intrigued now what that could possibly be. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell Turn you after. the recording, please. I'll tell you after, Teddy. <laughs> well... I, I'll just cut it out, it's fine. What could you possibly say that will make the the Queen Crowbar community like <laughs> Are you wanting to take on some sort of servant? <laughs> no. Of the indentured variety. No. <laughs> I I was th- thinking of possibly. No, it's a slave of the adventure variety. Uh, 
Um, I was thinking of possibly employing Cersei and Sarah as part of Brian Inc., but uh -huh. in, in like an administrative role, possibly. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends what they want to do next. Yeah, um, yep. You should probably ask them first, just, you know. Yeah, but certainly if they were intending to stay on, I don't know, maybe the bakery can still run alongside. As a front, front organization. <laughs> yeah, or just, you know, downstairs, famous bakery, upstairs, Brian Inc. sort of thing. Yeah. Get a secret oath now. Hang on, yeah, I'm just. Nice. So, crit the 19 and 20, and running a 1 or a 2 on the actual damage means I can reroll. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm. Um... Pretty good. Um... Oh. Not page 590, page 50. How many experience points have we left over? The other one, three? Uh, what was it? Came out at 990? Yeah, so 90. Uh, 30, I think. 40? 90? 940. No, 940. Oh. So we have 30 <laughs> left. I think Quinn's find something good. <laughs> I get to choose two skills and double my proficiency bonus with them. Nice. Cool. Nice. What do I get? What, what happens to my... How does this spell thing work? Okay, so persuasion, definitely. Do I get <laughs> new... Do I get new abilities now? <gasps> Uh, possibly. Let's see. Persuasion and performance. Paladin. <laughs> what does Paladin get? I've chosen persuasion and performance, and I now have a plus ten proficiency bonus <laughs> for each. <laughs> nice, nice. That is pretty good. Kind of badass. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to increase health, don't I? I um, have, I can roll passive twenties for performance and persuasion. <laughs> right, so what what is the role to add health? Performance and what? Is it a hit die? He only a hit die? Mm. Oh wait, no, no, That's it's right. not yes. that. Yes. No, I was doubling my yeah. entire bonus. That is wrong. Um, good roll, please. Come on. Seven. Yeah, that's fine. Oh um, yeah, hit die. That is fine by me. Okay. Everyone else want to roll their hit die while we're in the uh, hit die rolling? Yes, hit die is... Elizabeth gets uh, 11. Hit die, hit die, what? hit die. It's a 1d10? So it? you roll a d10 and then get your constitution modifier. Oh, okay, so I get plus uh, okay. to my seven. My well, hit dice are two d10 though. No, no, uh, your hit dice rolling. will be a d10. How oh, then? Do I not have two d10? Why do I have two hit dice? I roll two, right? That means you have two, but you roll one of your. Whenever you're level up, you roll a hit dice. Oh, okay. I rolled an eight. No. I rolled an eight, so I get plus eight. Good. Wait, so, so that's 20 seconds. Oh, that's, that's the max, isn't it? Nice. Yep. What does cool. hit die um, actually do? Um, it's how much you increase your hit points. Yeah, but like yeah. it has uses. Oh, you can okay, use yeah, it during a short rest. rest. Yeah. A short rest, you can use it to roll your uh, regain. 31 hit points now. That seems do, like do, too much. Do you think... gain health mm -hmm. from short rests like automatically, normally? Or do you have to... like way health? too much here. <laughs> Line twenty two, that's fine. Um I yeah. I was wrong. I don't get I don't double my entire bonus for performance and persuasion. I only double my proficiency bonus, which means I only get an extra plus two. Okay. Which means I'm rolling passive seventeens instead mm -hmm. of passive twenties. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's still badass. 
Uh, so I get a plus plus seven to roll instead of plus ten, which is nice. still pretty. Good. Yeah, it's hard quite to beat. Pleased. Quite pleased with that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty tight. And guys. now I get to be in. Now I get to be an actual uh, storyteller by joining the College of Law. He found them up okay. from Brian Inc. <laughs> guys, can I join, please? Like, yeah. Go on. Level How many hit points does everyone have? Because now I have loads, buckets, hit points. I have 24. I have 29. Ah, I have 31. How oh, did you? Ooh. No, I don't think you should have. I got a 9. I, got, I had 22. I think I got a 9. How did you? How much did yeah, you have at the beginning? Because I started with whatever and then I rolled like max last time. Yeah, you did. I remember someone rolled very well last time. <laughs> that must have been you. Um, yeah. You, so you, you got... How much did you have before you rolled this one? 22 for this. Oh, wow! <laughs> so that means you went 14 before. Yeah. I actually think it's less than me, was it? I think it was 14, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, that's like, you, your max is 8. Or is it? Is it? Yeah, it's 8. Uh, uh, is... Oh no, your, your D10, your range, okay. So, okay. so you were on uh, 12. That makes more sense. Oh, and I gain proficiency with three skills of my choice. Nice. You're gonna be a very jack of all trades -y sort. Yep. Um <laughs> uh, the vengeance, this sounds like me. <laughs> I feel like if we're going to be an investigative thing I should probably Yeah, well I mean I suppose an, an adventuring party that's sort of made as official or made as a, a corporation. You could not just be investigating, but you know, actually going on adventures. People know to that this is where they go to talk to the people who do the stuff. I don't think you could yeah. even like well, realize this like prime like... exists. You like the idea of being a more private investigator y sort of focused. Yeah. Um I mean, adventuring, yes, I do I do want to do adventuring, but I feel like seeing as we've got our start in private, in PI work, I should probably, um... Capitalize on the, on the goodwill? Yeah, I should, well, I should probably get proficiency in actually investigated, seeing as that's probably what people will expect us to do. Mm. Yeah. And, like, I should probably I should probably become to become the person I'm lying about being. <laughs> Are we um that sounds like an awesome quote for the trailer. <laughs> uh, as because we're level three, well, we I... anything, anything that isn't class based. Like we don't get extra proficiency bonus or anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, not until level five, if I'm remembering correctly. Also yeah. I I've been rolling really well in acrobatics, so I think I'm going to take proficiency in that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um. What next? Wait. Do, do we get like proficiency? Can we put more proficiency? Uh, you don't all? get extra proficiency normally points. until fifth level. Yeah. So next level, I get a little bit more improvement or a feat, right? That's right. Yeah. In I fact, I think you can. You can take a feat on any level, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Instead of what? Instead of... Instead mm, of something. Instead of in the manual, a at certain level, if your class gives you the ability core improvement feature, you can the optional feat rule, you can forego taking that feature to take a feat of your choice instead. It seems to be instead of increasing your stats, you get a feat. It's like, instead of increasing my health, I can take a feat. Oh, I get another. I get another spell. I get another spell. 
Nice. Okay. And I can learn second level spells now. <laughs> Sweet. It's pretty good. Uh, what beast languages are there? Like what beasts have like speak? Yeah, it's gonna have the the all the stats. It's a panther. It's gonna be a panther. Oh, panther! But oh, right, you right. because otherwise the challenge or, or something is too high. If okay. I pick a, like an actual bear from the thing, right? Do you want me to send you an image of the stat block for the panther, or do you have yes. it? Yes, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about it. It'd be easy for you to send it to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> So, my favorite enemy is beasts, but I'm also supposed to. Um, I gain a language of my favorite enemy, but my favorite enemy is beasts. And undead. <laughs> yeah, I got rid of the undead because I think that was wrong. Right. To have both undead and beasts. It was either. It was like one from a list that included beasts and undead, or I could choose two humanoid races. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, dwarves and elves. Yeah, it was like orcs and goblins or something like that. Oh, the inspiration. Right, so nearly got you your panther. Oh, cool. Nice. Um... Uh, I get spells. What's the shortcut for sending something like that? Oh, that's so handy. <laughs> I get spells. Uh, yeah, if you, if you go to D and D chat. Oh yeah. Uh, Kian, the Panther yeah. step block should be there. Yeah. Wow, Ooh, that's okay. fast. <laughs> 50 foot speed base. That is very fast. I don't know. How fast is the bear? A be bears are very fast as well. Bears, They're not yeah. quite panther fast, but. In real life, I know bears are super fast. They can go like 30 miles an hour. Yeah, but like super fast, like accelerating, are they? They're faster. They're I think faster they're pretty than... fast, but like they, they, like they can keep a really high speed. Like. like... Panthers the reason that you like, never yeah, have like a massive burst of speed like instantly. The reason that you never ever run from a bear is because they can outrun can. cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like wow, well, and you don't climb trees against them either. You know. The only reason you should run away from a bear is that if there's someone else slower than you also yeah. running away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but even if like it, it means like if you climb a tree, it's like if it's a grizzly bear will knock the tree down, and if it's a black bear will like, climb up the tree. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't do that either. Also, if it's a if it's a sun, is it sun bear? Sun bear. Wow, that sounds cool. They, <laughs> they... That yeah, there we go. They burn the, the tree down can I... with fine can I... powers. Can I choose? Praise the sun bear. Can I choose to speak to beasts of the forest? Like small, you know how gnomes can speak to like small animals. Can I choose that in the forest instead of taking a language for? Beasts, because beasts are like everything, and they don't really have language. Yeah. Um, or can I, I like plus one to animal handling or something? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, hmm. Gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to have another look at that. Hmm. 
I mean, probably. See, just had to post this picture of a sun bear because it's adorable. Yeah, the the sun bear was the uh, inspiration for the Pokemon Ursa Ring. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know where Pokemon ends. Uh, but, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I gain spells from my oath. Does that mean that I just, it's just that I can prepare them? Uh, say it again. I gain, spell, I gain spells from my oath. Uh, so, oh, oh my, sacred, my sacred oath, does that mean I can just like prepare these spells? Oh, so I don't have a clue. Um, when it comes to the technicalities of each class, I am slightly shite. Um, well, not slightly. Let's see, cleric, cleric. Hmm. I don't know. I I might have to look at this another day because my hair is slightly fried. Uh, I get one bonus, one spell, but my phone is dead. So. What? <laughs> uh, you have a phone. Yeah. <laughs> you have phone in the game. No. Uh, my phone in real life, which I have an app on, which tells me which <laughs> spells I have. <laughs> so I have. Oh. Yes. I can't um, look at. My no, is my, not working. my magical my magical focus is a, is a phone, is a mobile phone. <laughs> it's a strange black tablet, <laughs> seemingly from purest obsidian. Technomancer. Yes. Well, techno. Mm. No Te urge. Techno prisoners. <laughs> it will be a techno urge. <laughs> right. I already decided what to get next level. Because because mm -hmm. Mansa is Mansi as a as a <laughs> suffix, uh, actually denotes the telling of the future through a thir certain thing. So pyromancy is not the control of fire; it's it's divination through the use of fire. <laughs> right. That was your that second a... random bit of third random bit of trivia from Quinn. What level, <laughs> Rob? What? Spell should I take? Speak with animals, Long Strider, Hunter's Mark, Hail of Thorns, Fog Cloud, Ensnaring Strike. Hail of Thorns is fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still want to get the next level. It's a Charger Feet, which means you, when you dash, you get to make an attack with plus five damage, or push someone ten feet if you manage to roll. That is. Sounds pretty good. You can just run into combat and hit them with my katana. That's something that I would do. He's a big fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. What's the ranger archetype? Oh. Oh yeah, beast master. Okay. Okay, so um, we might do one more session for Christmas. I'm just sort of slightly not leaving myself enough time to do other things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can all um, relate. Yeah. Um, and just I, I, I'm the sort of weirdo that tends to spend way too long writing stuff. Um, oh, you know, can I'll, we do I'll a sit Christmas in front of a keyboard. Session. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I mean, I would like to do some sort of Creighton Cobalt Christmas special. Yeah, maybe with guest stars <laughs> and a big fireplace. Um, that I'll would be around good. like I think I'll be around like an entire Christmas. I have like the we find like, the interdimensional. I think it's like three days after Christmas. I probably won't be there, but mm. other than that, I'm around forever. We have to do um, whenever Christmas Eve themed. 
we find an interdimensional with the interdimensional barrel and goes <laughs> through. Interdimensional to... box takes us to the Christmas dimension. Yeah, the Christmas. It takes us dimension. to Christmas. <laughs> Christmas Town from a Nightmare Before Christmas. Can that be? Can that be? Can that, yes. be, our, can that be our first investigation? We have to go into a. We have to go into a into a musical. <laughs> can, that, can that be our first? Musical. Everything yes. has to be sung. It can, can be I... yes. It can be can... the. It can be the Christmas special and the musical episode. Can it? Can it be our very first case officially at Sprite Inc? Someone comes to us like, help! The Santa! A portal has appeared! <laughs> the singing detectives. <laughs> I, I would love that. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately love that. musical episodes only really work if you can script them beforehand. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, it's fine. No work involved in that, probably. We'll just imagine that all characters are like forced to sing by this spell. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Teddy, you have to auto tune the entire episode after that. Oh, terrible. It's <laughs> so horrible. Oh, God. <laughs> Just put some sleigh bells and stuff over the top. It'd be brilliant. I need a drop of blood to cast a spell. That is really. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like. <laughs> yeah. I was like. <laughs> In order to auto-tune your voices, I will need a drop of blood from each of you. And by drop, I mean... ...freaking <laughs> gallon. Fuck it. Oh, dear. Hey, has Ninja Ox been spying on us? You can... I can... I can, I can now detect... ...a fav... No, if I'm... Okay. I can spend a spell slot to, for one minute, detect aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fae, fiends, and undead in a mile area around me. Wow! Or if I'm in the forest, six miles around me. <laughs> what can you do? You can... you can basically detect anything unnatural within yeah. a mile. Or six. <laughs> Or six in the forest. <laughs> if we have to ever fight a dragon or find one, just run in, go <laughs> there. Or a fairy. Yeah. Fairies are nasty. Or yeah, oh, but like, does, like, does it tell you where they are, or does it like there's there's something around? There's Focus thing. your awareness on the region around you. You can sense if they're present in a mile around you. Oh, okay, so oh, yeah. it doesn't so tell like, you where yeah, they are. It doesn't reveal the creature's yeah. location or number. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I might have to shoot off because I'm about to... Eyeballs are about to fall in my head. Um, okay, I will post on Discord uh, which spell I chose to learn. Cool. Aye. No, I mean, if you guys want to continue on with your character well, creation... I'm, I'm as well. Well... I'm Maori. Right. Peace out, y'all. Good session. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.